What's up guys? How are you guys doing today? Happy Monday. Well, today is Monday, Monday day. John, what's up? Uh, have you seen the solar eclipse? Uh, no, I have not. No solar eclipse in Europe. New CC season, let's go. Are you guys ready? New CC season. It's gonna be fire. At least until we get some room that we get really pissed off about. Okay, we're gonna use spreadsheets. We're gonna use uh, things to see if we can win. Good luck for the awesome Archer. Welcome back, Fast Grab, Connor Sherman, John. How are you guys doing? C Row, Tony Sweet, Yutanaka, VHS Rogue. Mohamed, what's up? Solar Eclipse Day. Only for Americans, not even all Americans. Nightcrawler, what's up? Welcome back. So happened for this event, which one? The Crucible or the or the zombie jugs? Is it worth building Cabal? Yes. 100%. 100%. How is Erna Milky? She's okay. She's okay. She's a little bit stressed about her. She was supposed to give birth uh, next month, but she, it seems like she's going to be forced to, to give birth this week. So we'll see. Hopefully on, uh, on Friday. Hopefully on Friday, but we'll see. We don't know for sure yet. The Zugs. Blacktooth Grim, welcome back. Wager, welcome back. Cotton Mouth. How are you guys doing today? Did you guys saw the eclipse? Or, uh, or you saw too many eclipses in your life? So this was another nothing burger. Yeah, it was supposed to be early May, but she might be forced to, to do it this week. <clears throat> no congrats yet. It's too early for congrats. She, she's very nervous. She's scared that uh, something will go wrong. So I don't want to jinx it. Room two and room four are the hardest this season. Uh, no, I, I would say room three and room uh, room three and room four, yes. Room three and room four, yes. Room two, I don't think so. Archer, I seen the eclipse now and I can claim disability. <laughs> Oh my god, Raging Nerd, thanks for the resubscription. 11 months in a row, almost one year. Thank you so much. 99% Eclipse here in uh, KI. I don't know what KI means. Kentucky, or... What, uh, what uh, state is there? One Night in Paris, welcome back. Scene Pool. New events, new season, new bugs. Yeah, we should have some big bugs on room one at least, right? At least on room one. Maybe also on room three. We'll see. Room three or room four? The one with assists. Kentucky. Yeah. So the food there is, is finger leaking or not really? New Silver Surfer is a woman finally because I was complaining we didn't have enough uh, female superheroes. Okay, there you go. So. Now you can be pleased. Now you can be pleased with a female silver surfer. I'm going to call her Surferina. Silver Surferina, just to make sure we don't mix up. Don't need to wait for a miracle like Eclipse to see the power of the universe. Blind Rumor, should they have bugs too? The Blind Rumor. I'm not sure about the blind room uh, bugs. KFC is trash food. I remember when KFC was good. Back in, back in the 90s, at least here, I would consider KFC good. Ram, what's up? Welcome back. How are you doing today? So we have the battle pass today. Is, is it a battle pass for the zombie juggernaut or is it other battle pass. I'm actually not sure about it. Little Falker, welcome back. 
And uh, I think I also didn't say hello to Surai. Welcome back, guys. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys are excited for Season 7 of Cosmic Crucible. Do you guys heard about the news from the, the Marvel Strike Force GM? Kaiser Tiago, tudo bem? MSF Big T, welcome back. I was trying to see the eclipse, but then a hot girl walked by and I got distracted. Much better than the eclipse, right? The eclipse only burn the eclipse burns your eyes. Hot girl passing by can burn your wallet. But at least the wallet is easier to recover from. Peter, welcome to the chat. Drizzy the Gamer, what's up? Adrenaline in my soul. Something, something. <laughs> I don't know what you are talking about. Cody, Cody Rose, you are talking about some wrestling stuff, I guess. Oh, it was the, the WrestleMania, right? We had a WrestleMania recently. I have no idea what happened on the on the WrestleMania. Public Enemy, which team you use for Incursion Mystic, if not by Frost? I use by Frost, but it's a very small by Frost. I use by Frost, but my by Frost is like my penis. It's very small. This is the by Frost I use, 1.5 million. That's it. What was the news? So the news are about uh, uh, they are going to change the graphics engine, I guess. So it will uh, allow them to build uh, characters and maps easier. The battle world was delayed. The moments moments are also tied in with battle world and also with arena. And they hope they they will spice up arena with moments. They are also supposed to fix the slingshot in arena, and then a few other things that don't really matter. So who cares? Primeira pergunta: Tava falar a tua esposa e criança aconteceu algo? Assim, assim, tá tá uma tá complicado. Blitz, blitz, yes, yes. So now, vou ter um um novo código for blitz. We'll have a new Blitz code soon. We are going to have a Blitz event, not this week, but the week after. And I already have the all the Blitz teams for uh, for this event. Ram, my alliance is struggling with the participation in Incursion 2 raids at the moment. So is it because it's too difficult or, uh, or people are just not active enough? See the WhatsApp. Did you hear the... Did you hear the, their, did you hear about the, <laughs> did I hear about the monthly event uh, exploit? Yes, I heard about it. Yes. Cody finishing the story. Oh, I have no idea about uh, the, the Cody situation. Fed Alferro, what's up? Welcome back. Boylan's dog came out of the closet and now identifies as a cat. Oh, that's, uh, those are great news. Great news right there. Jayla Oliveira, welcome back. Lola Sorian, welcome to the chat. Public Enemy, almost the same like mine. Yes, so yeah, by Frost, the only characters that matter is Battery Bill and, uh, and Val. Everyone else you can skip. Papa Woody, welcome back. How they are going to fix the slingshot? So to fix the slingshot, they are going to rebuild Arena. So... That's how they are going to fix it. They are going to rebuild the arena so it doesn't happen. Ben, do you know Marvel Avengers Alliance? I know I heard about it. I never played it. Little Falker, the game will be so screwed. Yeah, so there are a few things that they want to fix. So it's, it's the arena situation, the arena slingshot. The open all orbs. It had a problem that... Uh, the every time you would open the orbs every time you would open 10 orbs it would ping the server multiple times per second and of course if one thing is pinging the, the server multiple times then that's going to create a lot of lag 
So from my understanding, what they are going to do is to reduce the amount of ping and make your device to open the orbs. And then it communicates with the server how many, how many orbs you open or whatever. Now, this sometimes creates a situation where uh, people can exploit that. Hopefully, it will not be the case, but uh, it will definitely decrease the burden on their servers. Viper GT, welcome back. Thank you. Thank you. Very appreciated. Daniel, Billy Santiago, Updog, what's up? How are you guys doing? Lament saber, Viper, tudo bem? Se, não, em, em princípio não é nada extremamente grave, mas é um bocadinho grave. Erna Milky from the hospital, representing on the live stream, let's go. And you can also beat difficulty 2 with them. I can beat difficulty 3, I can beat all the difficulties with this team. At 1.5. Tanada Mike Japan, welcome back. Erna Milky, I miss you, do I fear? You don't have any reasons to fear, you are strong, I believe in you. And, uh, and you also have to believe in the doctors. Você gostou do Eclipse? Eu não vi o Eclipse. Vi só um bocadinho online, mas, mas nada de especial. Estou-me a guardar para o Eclipse 2026. JP, welcome back. No. Erna Milky, she's being a little bit over dramatic. We need Ricardo. Ok, we're gonna do Ricardo just to, to help Erna Milky. Wallace Fernandes, Marvel Avengers Alliance Classic. Yeah, I, I know about the game, but I never played it. Buffalo Love, welcome back. So this week we have a chance of facing Pathfinder. It might be the first match of the week. We'll see if that's going to be the case or not. But if it's Pathfinder, maybe I should ask him if he wants to do a collab like at the same time doing the matches, like we did with uh, Dorky Dad. A lot of people enjoy that, uh, so we'll see. What's the most annoying arena defensive team right now? Oh man, I have no idea. There is one with Void Knight uh, and American Chavez can be annoying, but nothing too crazy. I, I play everything on manual, manual. If you play on manual, you can save a ton of resources. So yeah, I play on manual. I don't uh, like to overinvest on my raid teams. I will be Cabal last uh, two team members. So I'm going to use Iron Patriot with Masters of Evil. And I'm going to use uh, Neymar with uh, New Warriors. So we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> Thanks for all the positive guys. Very, very appreciated. Free peep show. I'm glad people don't know what, what that means. It would be cool if uh, we would uh, watch the eclipse at night. The eclipse at night, yeah. I, I think that would be very cool. Up dog, I have the Toxy one. I have Toxy, one of the web devs in my bracket. Awesome, man. Awesome, up dog. Good luck with it. Tell them to fix the website. There is this bug on the website. I really wish they would fix it. Which is the, the, the team section. If I, I really wish I had access to them. But there is this team section that there is this bug. It doesn't show the characters that you have here. And people are not even talking about this feature. You cannot find it easily. You cannot find it easily. And I really wish they would uh, remember, quote unquote, that they have this because it's very important. It really helps with the team building, especially if you are on off season. But the new characters are bugged out. So for example, here, Black Knight, you press on him and then it shows no picture. So you don't even know which character you are using. So if you win, Against him, force him to fix this. Three Secret Defenders, Apocalypse, Black Knight. Which room do you feel? the For me, the, I think the most problematic rooms are going to be three and four. In my opinion, three and four are the, the most difficult ones. It's going to force you or to use uh, Chavez 
No, not Chavez. He's going to force you to use Echo again. And if you use Echo, you are losing uh, damage and, uh, and buffs and so on. I should do with the uh, Dorky more often. It, it's not up to me. It's not up to me. It's up to them. So, I'm not sure if Dorky had have problems with the previous one. So, it's not up to me. Fabrice, could you make a video for the Mystic Nodes? Yeah, sure, I can do that. I can do maybe a, a full run, all the nodes at the same time. Except the skill nodes. The skill nodes right now, we are skipping. Scoby, should they have a special Eclipse offer? We, we are going to get an Eclipse offer for sure. With the Sunspot and Moon Knight. Marinho, Guilherme, what another option for room 4? I don't have leader. So, room 4, let me see. Room 4 or room 3? Characters with offense up, like, some people are using Superior 6, Sinister 6 on room 3. So, the, these rooms are interchange, interchangeable. The 3 and 4 and 4 and 3. Interchangeable. Nice, that's why my alliance mates, but uh, they prefer doing Sima. Yeah, 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 that's not good, that's not good. If you're gonna play for Siming, you're gonna waste a lot of resources. The only teams that uh, you should invest for Sim is like Extreme X-Men, because you also use them in Cosmic Crucible, Alliance Wars, and so on. Those teams you can max out, but when you have trash characters like Loki, Teen Loki, and uh, Sylvie, you are better off uh, not investing in them. Just a bare minimum for them to be used playable. Updog, I just got them to fix CC one step at a time. Uh, thank you. Yeah, the, on the website there are multiple bugs. Hopefully they will fix uh, all of them. I hope. Little Falker with a big dono. Oh my god, I, I didn't even see it. Let's make it rain. Very, wow. very appreciated with an auto message. Oh my god. Thank you so much for the support, man. Very, very appreciated. Very, very appreciated. Making a difference. It's all going for the baby formula now. Zurantus, tell them to fix the Apocalypse not clearing. Yeah, there is a problem with Apocalypse Special. I really wish they would fix the Apocalypse Special because it's not working properly. He's not uh, balancing the, the health. And he was doing this in the past. So they did something to Apocalypse Special. It was working and now it's no longer working. So on room 3, or you use characters that uh, spawn with offense up, or characters that, got, that get early offense up, so the Armamo there is strong, the... Oh my god, Connor Sherman, what are you doing? <laughs> Big, gigantic dono from Connor Sherman, I, I don't even know what to say. Wow! Oh my god, what is this? Yes, for you and the baby and the family, wish you all the best. She's going to be amazing at it. Much love. Thank you, man. Thank you so much. So much appreciated. You guys are amazing. Very, very huge difference, guys. It really makes a huge difference. Sylvie isn't total trash. Turn one stun is reasonable. I mean, yeah, she's not total trash, yes. But you want her for her ultimate. And if she can do it, it's a little bit problematic. I'm an in. Welcome back. Yeah, guys. I know it. If you have the time, you should always play on manual so you can f focus your resources on game modes that are like PvP, right? So, Cosmic Crucible, Alliance Wars, Arena, Ray teams. You just gear them up to to the bare minimum. If you can play on manual. Now, if you are too busy, if you can't, then that's fine. If you are free to play, that's also fine to get up uh, priority your uh, your raid teams. I don't know, but I just get up my raid teams to the bare minimum, play on manual, and save the resources for everything else. This time change f me up. I'm too sleepy at the yes, yeah, I agree, I agree. I don't know exactly why it happens. I feel like the game went one hour forward. And at least in Europe, we got another hour forward. So now the Cosmic Crucible and so on 
happens very, very late. It's very, very late. I, the other day, I didn't even notice. It was 3 in the morning. Or almost 3 in the morning when uh, when I was streaming. Don't complain about the bugs. Or they will blame us. <laughs> and take the game down. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, please. Not that. This... Little Falcon is for the baby, not MSCF. Oh, thank you, man. Thank you. Yeah. How to beat Pegasus in room 2 in CC7 if I have Hive Mine on defense? I don't know, man. I don't know, Peter. I'm going to check out my Crucible counters from uh, the previous season if I have If I have them still saved. And, and then we'll see. And then we'll see. Quick draw, welcome back. Mad Wrath, what's up? Welcome back. What would you recommend for room one? New Avengers is too low. On room one, you can use uh, Unlimited with uh, Gambit, Rogue, with Dazzler, and then you can use Dormammu or you can use some other character, Jubilee or something that gives him more health. Patriot Skirmisher or Striker, why? No, Patriot, Skirmisher, or Raider. If you take Raider level 5, that's fine. But if you're going to take him only to level 4, I would recommend the Skirmisher. Because the, the negative effects he applies on Assist are more important than the other thing he's, he does with the, with the main abilities. So it depends if you can afford to take to level 5, or if you're going to keep him only at level 4. Jose Jimenez, welcome back. That, that's Dallas, welcome back. By the way, you can just call me Dallas, Dallas sign. <laughs> Dallas sign, of course. Oh, I still don't have that thing. Oh, I, I need to fix a few things here. We need to go to our... Oh, I can... Should I say? No, I cannot say it. Updog, they don't change in the game clock. Yeah, yeah. So, but... Uh... There was a change in MSF like last month or at the beginning of the of uh, March. There was a change. And and here, here in Europe, our time only changes at the end of the month. So I don't know exactly how it is, but like uh, when Mobile Gamer does his videos live at five, he was doing it like one hour earlier. And now we got one extra hour. So I'm not sure if it's because of the California time zone or what it, what it is. But it makes a huge difference for us here in uh, Central Europe or more Western Europe. Eastern, Eastern Europe, sorry. Shytown Citizen, what's up? And the Milky asking to smash the like button. Let's go. I got the second skill node down. Awesome. I'm mean, in suffering for everyone with those skill nodes for now. Lord Richard, welcome back and welcome to the Alliance. Let's slap the solar eclipse back to the moon. <laughs> yeah, the the skill nodes, oof. We I'm not sure if Updog is still in the chat. Did you try to four man the the skill nodes, Updog? Did you try to four man it or you, you cannot reveal it as an envoy? Because I I, I guess the envoys have NDAs to, to don't say if the teams work with four people or not because they, they never try it. So I have to just assume that uh, it's something they cannot say. You should go to your empowered mode. Little Lazy, what's up? Little Lazy, welcome back. Dorky said that there will not be any compensation for the month long dupe bug because the devs say it, it's fake. And if anyone has proof to send to him, I, I sent to him, I sent to him. I can show you the DMs that I have with Dorky Dead. As you guys know, I have nothing to hide except something that I cannot talk about right now, but it's not. Uh, it's not related with Marvel Strike Force, it's something about my personal life. So I can show you the DMs that I have with him. Where is this guy? So 
So I, I told him, I show him the video. He asked me to show the video. I show the video with the proof, the exact time when it happened. Then we talked about it. I told him that I got 30 extra shards. Maybe I got something more than these 30 extra shards, but I'm not going to mention. He said he's going to try to recreate it. I don't know. And, uh, and that's it. I told him that I had two devices open. He said that he's going to try to do it uh, the next day. And then he didn't say anything else. So to say that it's fake, it's not fake. It's, it's not fake. It was happening all the time in the past. So if they don't give us a compensation, like I understand that, but to say it's fake, it's, it was not fake. Everyone saw it live. And the live stream for now, it's still available. But not for much longer. He said, he's, okay. He said, he's, he said that he was fake, but you guys saw that uh, he changed his mind. He said he was fake because he was not aware of the situation. Well, once again, you guys can see right here. This was after, after he said it was fake. After he said he was fake, I told him, I show him the video, and now he believes. Now, if he tried again, what he tiled with the, with the developers, I have no idea. But yes, he said it was fake, but then he changed his mind. Because, I mean, everyone saw it on the live stream. The event does not have enough shards for the amount of shards that I got during the live stream. So you can say whatever you want. The reality is that uh, I got more shards than I was supposed to get. I hit this part of the year for a... Uh, yes, yes, me too, Raging Nerd, me too. Everything is happening super, super late. And it's very annoying. With all this cash, Biden... <laughs> oh my God. Is Biden not showing up? He should be showing up. Yeah, he should be showing up. Maybe he's just tired. Maybe he's taking a nap. The larger TCP this week? Definitely not me. I got a lot of TCP this week because of level 100. We had XP throttle and got to level 100. But uh, I have no idea who this guy is. Avengers Plus. 111 million TCP. Sounds like someone who bought an account might be. With such a small PID, this is probably someone who bought an account recently. Oh, there you go. You talk about Joe Biden and he shows up. You're looking for some ice cream. I am able to take out uh, Node 1 pretty consistently. What team are you using for Node 1? What is not showing is they have fixed before Darky Dad tried to recreate it. I'm not sure if they really fixed it because I have seen multiple people saying still that it's still happening. So I'm not sure. Did they fix it? Did they not fix it? The reality is that every time you have a type of these events, it always happens. And uh, as I mentioned in the past, like we had Mr. Artgrave, he was the champion of. Uh, duping rewards in the past. His alliance, they were all organized to, to dupe all the rewards on the server reset until, uh, until they changed the, the, the time of reset to much earlier for the power chorus. He's probably said it was fake before. Yeah, yes, yes. He made a video about being fake. It was before uh, I I talked with him. Yeah, exactly. There, there is proof. Like there is proof. Once again, like maybe I miss. I, I really thought that I missed calculated. I re I really thought maybe I miscalculated or something. Let me watch the stream again. I watched the stream again, and there is a, a section there that I collect 25 shards from the game and I get 40 shards from the, the, the web milestone. So even the number, even the number was different. And once again, the event does not have enough shards for the amount I have. It, it's just the reality of it. I thought, oh, maybe it's the secondary event that has 30 shards. No, the only event only has 10 shards. 
Yeah, no milky. No, I, I didn't went to the Lidl. Need some. <laughs> Great start. No two is easy. Not one. One shot skill. Using invaders. Oh yeah, but I'm not going to get up my invaders. F that. I'm not touching invaders. I got to level 100 from 98 during the double XP boost. Yeah, 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 yeah. No gold, no training materials, no t -fours. Yikes, yikes. Yeah, I'm actually struggling with gold as well. 17 million, that's like the bare minimum to get to Dark Dimension 7. I was able to push some characters to level 100, but not a lot. So we have 5, 6, 7, 7 characters to level 100. I pushed a few more to level 99. But yeah, not. I, I have uh, still a ton of training materials, but the goal, look at that. Training materials so far so good, but the goal is just not good. Mr. Kennedy is pretty good. Yes, yes. Mr. Kennedy very strong. Pathfinder is usually stronger unless he is trolling on, on his live streams or something. Depends. Nope, nope. Thank you very much. Welcome back. I kind of messed it up because I spent a lot of energy that I had saved. On Black Hat. So the Black Hat event is not for the... The Black Hat event was delayed until next month. Very likely. Rarko. <laughs> Don't you guys go to Lidl? Or Americans? The Europeans know for sure what is Lidl. Americans probably not. Do Americans have Spar? Or Spar is a, another European thing? 2.7 million invaders. Yikes. Those are some big invaders. Those are real co colonialists. Ryan, what's up? Welcome back. We are waiting for the Crucible. We are waiting for the zombie event. We are waiting for a bunch of things. Hopefully these... We are also waiting for the Battle Pass. That's going to be important too. But this zombie event, uh, very important. Get that uh, seven star zombie juggernaut. Some people don't understand the value of zombie juggernaut. Just the fact that he's a pre-taunting tank already makes him very useful. But the fact that on top of that, he also does good mechanics, like applying tons of bleeds, getting more speed bar, a bunch of other things, makes him very, very good. We are waiting for a Green Goblin and Power Abilities. Absolutely. Can I share my ID? I, I can show you my ID, yes. Mr. April 20. What happened on May, April 20? Oh, 420. <laughs> good one, good one. Shekari Gaming, welcome back. We have Aldi in America. Oh, yeah, yeah. Aldi, we also have Aldi here. I was one shotting no two when they were 2.3 as well. But do you have like ton of diamonds on uh, on your invaders or how they are so big? Lidl, yes, Lidl is like Aldi, yes. Spare away, welcome back. Quick question. What happens if I what happens in leave button on Yes, yes. If you press uh, if you press leave uh, all, all your teams are removed, yes. Yeah, I don't know what happened with the Green Goblin uh, ultimate abilities. We are still waiting for it. Okay, so... My defense. This is what I'm using on my defense. Ali is in the USA. I haven't uh, seen any Spar or Lidl over here. Cyber Duedo, welcome back. Michael Greenberg. Starting with a four star. Awesome, awesome. So if you're at four stars, you should get five and a half. Six, maybe if you buy the battle pass. Seven, probably not. Seven will probably be way too many power cores. If I remember correctly, this was one of those events that you need like 600 power cores. I'm not sure if I would recommend that today. 
I understand the value of Zugs. It's just dark promos and gold. Yes. Yeah, that's the problem. But I think he really has huge value for everyone. I'm trying out your recommendation on a new season of Crucible, putting leader on defense with Orm, Scroll, Battery, Bill, and Val. I hope it works. Like, they are going to be super big. So I hope it works. Glad I never bought Red Stars for Zima. He's going to be four Red Stars. Yes, yes. So a few people will get a few Red Stars on, uh, on Zim for free. Do you think uh, you will get him at seven stars? With the event and with the Battle Pass, yes. With just one, probably not. How do you use Iron Patriot in Neymar? Use Iron Patriot with a villain team. You can use Iron Patriot with a Dead Seed, with Master of Evil, with Apocalypse. You can use a Iron Patriot as a solo character with many teams. Neymar, I would recommend Neymar to use with uh, new new warriors instead of dagger. You guys are not watching my videos. I made videos about this a few week, a few days ago. So this was my my defense video, which got a pretty nice amount of views. Thanks for everyone who watched it and smashed it. Wow, we actually surpassed uh, the, the other video from the other guy. So yeah. Here you can see my defense and my thoughts on other people's defenses as well. And here I made this video. Maybe the thumbnail was not very good. Some trash thumbnail sometimes. Uh, this one. So you see, you can use the leader instead of Absorbing Man. You can use uh, Iron Patriot instead of Dr. Octopus. And you can use Neymar instead of Dagger. Uh, but yeah. You can use them together as a three piece or as a two piece, but you can also use them as a solo characters because all of them have value as solo characters. <laughs> What's your advice for what to do when you reach level 100? Focus on the raid teams? No, no. Focus on your crucible and war offensive teams, but on the characters that win matches. On characters that win matches. So for example, on new warriors, get your fire star to level 100. Gwenpool and Deadpool and Cloak, you don't have to rush for level 100. Focus on the characters that win matches. So that's going to be your Icarish, that's going to be your Black Cat, that's going to be your Robbie Rays, your Nightcrawler, your Gambit, your Firestar, your Kang. When you reach level 100, you want to focus on the characters that win the matches. My Zugs is too small to use. Uh... Yeah, so you have to take advantage of this uh, this event to increase him a little bit. If you have a 5-5 five, five, uh, Zugs, it should be good enough to use uh, in multiple places. Viper, G Viper GT still kept Battle Pass points. Yeah, but they don't work. They don't work. I saw someone saying this. I think it was Reiji or something. He said to save the points, but the points expire after 24 hours. So. Air Chris 420 is, is that famous German guy. <laughs> really? Is that for real? I don't think so. I, I thought it was. Is it for real? Oh, you guys are shitting me. Oh, it's really 420, really? Wow, okay. I didn't know about that. Mr. 420 April. Oh, yeah, that's amazing. Jade Star, full gear tier 18, isolate level 5, level 100 invaders. Got him to 3 diamonds on Fury and 1 diamond on the other ones. Wow, that's really a massive invaders. What teams can. Uh, Undying beat, uh, almost all of them. Undying can beat almost all war teams. I just look at so Lidl is a fancy version of Aldi. Yes, something like that. Crunch Breaker, is there any way for you? 
Is there any way for your account to stop being boosted? I think your account only stops being boosted when you get to max level. I'm not sure. Undying with Orm and Doom can beat everything reliably except out of time. Yeah, I would agree with that statement, yeah. And it's a three-piece. You can use it in different ways. Chasefield, welcome back. JL, Plates Meet, welcome back. Any tips for how to recruit people for your alliance? Uh, try to use uh, different platforms. Use uh, the, the multiple discords from different clusters. Use the official discord, but also use the, the Facebook group. A lot of people recruit through the Facebook group, but recruiting is all about luck. Sometimes you might find what you're looking for, other times not really. I changed the Morgan Fate to, to Noir, yes, yes. To use Noir on offense. Rarko, thank you very much. I have been voting for... Uh, I think I didn't vote yesterday. Speaking of voting, I'm, I have been voting for the man thing. Yeah, I didn't vote yesterday. Thanks for reminding me, Simple. So yeah, I've been voting for the man thing. I think it's more interesting than Warwick uh, MSF edition. But uh, use a lot of time. Yeah, I, I like to use Black Knight with Superior 6. Because a lot of people are using Scroll on offense. And the Scroll counters Superior 6. So you use Black Knight to counter the Superior 6. Or to counter the Scroll. Use the counter of the counter of the counter to counter the counter of the counter. That was the plan. They walk it up. They Walker, any news? If they will add the diamond rewards back into the war season? No idea. I'm not an envoy, so I, I have no idea. I cannot ask questions. Can't answer that right now. Alliance, Alliance captain can switch rooms. Yes, yes. Come case, what's up? Twenty thousand from the experience boost. Awesome, awesome, that's amazing. I was talking about the 1k battle pass points. Oh, the one they sent on the email. Oh, that's good, that's good. I didn't know about that one. 420 is east. Yeah, I, I didn't know about that. I didn't know about that. With the skirmisher on Nightcrawler? No, no, no. You, you cannot make Nightcrawler skirmisher. Because if you do that, you lose all the speed bar that he gives on the on the passive. On crit, apply speed bar for extreme X-Men allies, including Forge. So that's why we are using Nightcrawler as a rider. He needs the focus. He actually needs the focus to be a skirmisher. But this crit for speed bar is so important that you should prioritize his crit chance. Did you hear that Artgrave is a crybaby who doesn't get any views anymore? So he's... <laughs> I, I don't know, I don't know. I, I guess he digged his own grave, right? Grave diggers keep digging his own grave. That's what he, he did to himself. He cannot blame anyone than himself. Boost stops when you reach level 95. There we go, I have no idea on that. Why to use the MLF instead of Noir in room uh, 5? So I was uh, looking at a Juicy video with Mobile Gamer and Juicy said that uh, Morgan Le Fay goes before someone else's character. I don't remember a lot, but it made some sense. It didn't make total sense. So the goal is for Morgan Le Fay to go before Cloak and apply ability block to Cloak. I'm actually not sure if that works, but I guess you're gonna do it for science. So supposedly that's the goal. On Secret Defenders, if you have Morgan Lafay there, she has a chance of ability blocking Cloak. I'm not sure if that's the case. Not sure if that's the case. Michael Gioia, welcome back. You have Elifying in your bracket. Good luck, man. Good luck. 
Valley Flying Week 1 should not have a lot of help, so you, you might uh, be able to win him easy. Werewolf by Night, Fury Edition, yikes. MLF with SD can mess up with new Warriors counter, yes, yes. That's, that's in theory, in theory. In practice, they are not sure. Haven't voted at all, oh yikes. VK Lonely, welcome back. You are missing on those power cores, man. Has anyone tried Noir, Ghost, Fury, Captain? Noir, Ghost, yes, Fury, Captain Sam, Black Knight. I tried without Captain Sam because my Captain Sam gets one shot right away. So on, on difficulty 3, it doesn't work. My Captain Sam gets one shot right away. But from the comics, Man Thing is OP. Yeah, I prefer Man Thing. I just think he looks more interesting. I have mentioned it before. I don't like the shorts. If he has shorts, he needs to have Crocs. If you're gonna make this guy with shorts, Crocs, also in some no alcohol beer or something. Uh, this guy, in my opinion, looks a little bit more interesting. Not sure if he's OP in the comics or not, but just prefer the design. I'm just hoping we get a Midnight Suns. It, it should, the Halloween of this year should be very interesting. Shardgrave is a whiny bitch who doesn't know how to play the game. It blows my mind. He hasn't a, a follow. He has a following. The guys, and you don't know the controversial things that he has said in the past, but yeah. He got a following because many times, thanks to community manager Archangel, community manager Archangel is uh, orbiter of Art Grave, and as an orbiter, he is a disposition of power to promote Mr. Art Grave, and that's how he got so many, so many people subscribing to his channel and watching some of his videos, not all but some. I'm trying that MLFSD. With Dormammu as well. Okay, man, let me go. Let me know how it went. Kill his own channel because of his ego. I remember he was cool at the beginning. Wanted to help, and you literally could see his real side coming out. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I agree with that. He thinks he's better than everyone else, and he just uh, yeah, yeah. He he called it like. He said, if you don't have $20 to spend on Marvel Strike Force, you are subhuman. I mean, saying that someone is subhuman, it's like saying the N word. So, I don't know. He, he, he said many things that are extremely controversial. Like, kill all whiteies, for example. He looks like an healer, the man thing, because he's green or for some other reason. Everyone is all obsessed with this eclipse. Cloudy AF, oh my god, yikes. KV, Kevian, Kevian, sorry, I don't know how to say your name. Let me know how to say it. I'm doing well, thanks for asking. Taha 66, man thing in the comics is OPAF. Okay, so there you go. We are doing the good vote. Okay, we have one minute left. Zog's pass starts a bit early, it's already available. Okay, so there we go. So we have the zombie pass. Let's see how many shards we have. Can you press on the thing? Please don't crash the game. Okay, so we have 25 shards. We have 2,600 of those. 25. Was it 25 or am I stupid? Yeah, 25. 25, 50. 75 100 130 and the four oh really oh that's not oh that's terrible no we oh, got shafted yikes damn that's a huge shaft i already have this guy at uh, four five red stars that's a huge shaft for uh, for people that buy the battle pass Damn, that's really unfair.
That's really unfair. Wow. Really, really trash. Okay. Damn, that's terrible. Really, really terrible. So I thought that I was going to get Super Scroll to 10 uh, to, to 7 red stars this week. I guess it's not the case. Okay, who are we facing? Mr. Puel, of course. We have to face the Dardust guy on, uh, on the shard. McEagle, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the chat. My level reached 70 today because of the double XP. Awesome and awesome. Congratulations. Kiria, welcome back. Colin, what's up? Welcome back. Artgrave says that he's free to play. Yeah, yeah. He has been spending a ton of, of money. He just doesn't show it live. 130 total. Yeah, unfortunately, that's not enough for me. Zim for it. Yeah, yeah, that really, really sucks. Congratulations to everyone who is going to get a free four red stars on Zugs. On, on Zim. But for people I already have, it's, it's really painful. Gas Master, welcome back. Your is at zero. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Like, congratulations on the four. I think it should have both. It should have the 2000 or a little bit less, maybe. And also the, the Zima. But people that already have him at four stars, this is a major shaft because it gives you elite credits. Elite four credits. Character pool still live. <laughs> I guess people are not voting enough. So the daily reminder, the character pool is still there. I'm a returning mid game player. Awesome and awesome. I hope you are enjoying the game and the changes they have made uh, since uh, the last few years. That's a massive shaft for those who never... Yes, yes. Honestly, I don't understand why we talk about... Uh, it's free. No, it's not free promo. It's not free promo. But you, you, maybe you're not around for all the bad things he did to me. So that's why we talk about him. It's because of all, of all the, the nasty things he does. What's up with him taking the dark promos? Yeah, yeah. The, the, it was really nasty. You forgot the poll. They need to make a, a daily reminder in game. Okay, so... Wow, Vulture almost ready. Gonna start farming this, this. Please don't crash the game. Guys, buy everything just in case they have to reset the store. Okay, so there we go. We got those. War attacks, yes, please. Evo Jose, welcome back. How are you doing? My CC attacks. Yeah, we're gonna do those CC attacks soon. But before the CC attacks, we have to do the, the new event. And uh, try to figure out how we are going to maximize that zombie juggernaut. Because the battle pass directly doesn't give us a lot of shards. 130 is nice, but 130 out of 300 is still very far away. Oh man, and they have the scroll. They have the scroll here. Damn, I'm so close of getting to, to seven stars, but not close enough. Squirrel girl to three diamonds. Yikes. Hopefully not. And now let's buy all this junk. Okay, so we're going to take a look at the event. We're going to take a look at the numbers of the event. We're going to take a look at the store. And after taking a look at the store, we're going to do the, the Crucible. Look at the 250 shards offer. Sh should we do the offer review first? Okay, let me see. My, my story is not working properly. I still don't have the new offers. Let's see. 1,000 points from the... Oh, it worked. Awesome, man. Awesome. So saving those points, it worked. They need to put uh, in the store or in the milestones too many places to go. I agree. I agree. They are, I, I don't understand. Like The same way they notificate people when there is a, a blog or something, they should uh, do the same uh, for the voting.
I wasn't here for that. Yeah, so we had a lot of uh, we have a lot of background history with uh, with that guy. And uh, and yeah. A lot of problematic things. But we we are not going to keep digging on uh, on his grave. We're going to move on. I got to the one seed while the red started. One seed while the red gear on Valor. Three Oh, you got a you got a whale already with a, a three million val. Yikes! Yeah, I mean, uh, even even I'm in Nina from from our alliance. He already has the the Ghost Rider already gear tier nineteen. They're gonna start to show up, guys. It's the way it is. They are gonna start showing up, and there is nothing you can do about it, except beat them up. No, no good gold offers. Okay, I'm trying to to open the website, but as you guys know, it it really lags whenever you got to reset. Oh, Cosmic Ghost Rider, that's amazing. Let's get that Cosmic Ghost Rider. Let's get this as well. Okay. And I think now the... Okay. Should be working fine now. Okay, so let's see. We have Peter B. Parker. We have these new offers for him and some gold as well. Elite 4s, Elite 5s, big skip nowadays. So we have Crimson Tombs. And Viral Orbs. So these orbs, they give you uh, shards. And these you need for the milestones. So you need to see... We have the Alliance event. This Alliance event is going to be very important if you are trying to speed up through Dark Dimension 7. Leader for the month event, and that's it. Now, in terms of the normal offers, $100 for 250 shards, plus Dark Promos, plus Dark Diamonds. Big yikes. 100 shards for 50 bucks. Big yikes. $100 for the event. Damn, these guys are crazy with these, with these events. Okay, so in the past, this was one of the best offers because it gives you points towards the, the event and also character shards. The good thing is that as soon as you unlock the character, the more yellow stars you get, you get Crimson Tombs from the event. So we'll see. I'm not sure if you can max out the event with these Crimson Tombs or what's going to be the deciding factor. We're going to see in a second. Alliance event. As I said, this Alliance event is very important if you are trying to speed up uh, through Dark Dimension 7. And all of this is garbage. This just gives you points towards the event. And then we have the usual offers. That's it. Lots of training material offers. It would be nice if they would make more gold offers than training materials offers. I understand that some people are struggling with training materials, but you can always get those extra training materials from the arena store. And, uh, and not gold. Gold you cannot get as much. I guess from Blitz. But I'm not a big fan of spending Blitz credits for that. Okay, let's see. B. Blyer, Blyer, I think. 2488. What, what's up with these people with uh, all the 420 and 28? Uh, 88 numbers. Why well, get the storms? You, you get the tomes from the event. So if you go back in game, you go to events, you should have this event. And uh, supposedly, you get the points from here. Is this going to allow to get double rewards? What? No way. Are they going to allow us to get second time rewards? Oh my god, I'm going to rush for this. Please tell me we can get double time rewards. Yeah, shut down citizen, but we are talking about other 420. <laughs> are they al going to allow us to get double rewards? It can be, right? No way. No way they're going to allow us to get double rewards. 
Yes, you can. Wow. Oh man, that's gonna be great for me. Having this guy already at uh, at six stars. How much do we need to come? Uh, Corner Chairman, I don't know yet. I don't know yet. We're gonna wait for the, the last day to see. The leaderboard is already crazy after five minutes. I'm not surprised. This is a very good event. Doom Vulture Dorm, Black Knight Scroller. How can you be this? Uh, you can pray. Praying is always important when you are facing those teams. We will talk about Crucible in a second. Oh, nice. T4s. Love me some of those T4s. You don't lose energy on this bonus section. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Okay, let's turn this guy. We can now talk through everything. Should be good. The viral orbs, fragments, added the balance from the previous event. Yeah, so, I mean, on the previous event, it was not bad. It was not bad. So, the on the Halloween, it was my birthday, so I, I wailed a little bit on the zombie juggernaut. And uh, with the event spending 600 power quarters, it allowed me to get uh, six stars on this guy. But if you are 100% free to play, if this is the first time you can get a zombie juggernaut, if you complete all the milestones and if you spend the power quarters, you can get up to a four stars, maybe a, a five stars if you are lucky on zombie juggernaut. I remember there were a few people that got five stars zombie juggernaut. That the Carlos Duarte guy, I don't know what happened with him. You guys remember Carlos Duarte? He used to show up in stream. He was one of the people that were able to get to the five stars free to play zombie juggernaut, but not a lot of people. But you should also check if there, there are the basic orbs like we had before. Or maybe it's the same orbs. It might be the same orbs, actually. Yeah, I don't remember if these are the normal orbs or not, the viral orbs, or if it's the event orb. Well, at, uh, okay, so like this, I'm a little bit more happy. Like this, I should be able to get my super scroll to seven stars. Oh, no, the 2000 is on the last one. Oh, then I can't. Oh, yikes. I need to get the, the, the guy at seven stars. Get it now before the, yes, yeah, get it now before they say it's a bug or something, yeah. How many cores should I spend per day? How, how big is your zombie juggernaut already, John? I got four stars last year. Yeah, if you got four stars, you should be able to get a six stars, yeah, absolutely. The last Avenger, if you, how many stars do we have? Once again, depends on how many stars you have. Last time, this was a 600 power core event. So if you have if you have four stars, if you spend the 200 power quarters, you should be able to get. Uh, you should you should be able so 300, so four stars. You can get five stars and a half, five stars and a half, 30 out of 80. I mean, you can maybe spend what 400 power quarters and try to get a five star. If you are at four stars and you spend 400 power quarters around that, you might be able to get the, the, the six star. If you are at three stars, maybe you can get a fifth. It's going to cost you some power quarters. Like, there is no way, other way to go around it. So, this is very, very stupid. It requires you to have, look at this, requires you to have Zombie Juggernaut at seven stars and is the reward of the event. What's the logic behind that? He's already at seven stars. <laughs> then just collect your rewards. If he's already at seven stars, just collect your rewards. 
Go for the free gives. Okay, so this is... Oh, you got the five shards also from the... Okay, cool. Not as bad. And this one, the only reward is hella shards. So you want to do that just for the... You want to do that just for the Ultimus Orbs. Okay, here we go again. Yeah, yeah. If you are buying the Battle Pass, then it's going to help. Like, this is an important character. If you want to be successful in Marvel Strike Force, if you want to be... This is a character that helps not only you, but also your alliance. So, in the past, I made a lot of videos saying that this guy is very good. People didn't listen. But it's the difference between having a successful alliance in water and not is having Zombie Juggernaut uh, at least at 4-4, uh, 5-5, five, five, six, six, or above. 7 already? Awesome and awesome. Possible to go from 5 stars to, to 7? Oh, I don't think so. Even with the Battle Pass, I don't think so. Six stars, maybe seven stars. From five to seven, that's 500 shards. I don't think so. I don't think we are not. I don't think we are getting more zombies. I think this is the last zombie we are going to get for a while. I expect that this Halloween we're gonna get something different, not zombie related. But I have no idea. Once again, not the envoy, subject to change. Just based on based on the teams that we know that are coming. I think they are gonna skip the zombies this this uh, this year. If you are going to buy the battle pass, uh, don't spend 600 power cores on the event. I think that's the best way to, to say it. If you're gonna buy the battle pass. Don't uh, really don't do it. Do you also get shards from the event? I don't remember. So the event itself, the one with the milestones. Live uh, Nature Wars, Sleek Outbreak, uh, Copycat Blitz, Unstoppable Undeath. Okay, cool. Cool. Where are the milestones for this event? Okay, so I'm already at 67,000. That's great. Way better than I was expecting. We also get a bunch of points. We also have leader shards here. Great. So we don't have any zombie juggernaut shards. Oh, okay. So we have to rely on the, the crappy orbs. So we're going to collect all of these. Why why are they giving this? They, they are giving fortified chromium by mistake. We are supposed to get uh, fortified infinite energy. Or uh, augmented infinite energy. So I think they messed up on the rewards a little bit. Or maybe they are giving enough for both. Could be that. Leaderboards, let's see. People are ready with the 300k on the leaderboards. Rank 200, okay. I'll welcome that for sure. And uh, I think I'm going to quarter on this. Let's see, where is the event? Here. Okay, I'm going to quarter for energy. Because I really want to get this guy at 7 stars and get those free... get those free what's the name the free dark promos you are ranked 27 on the leaderboard already it won't last longer maybe more cosmetics since they have been making more yeah anything anything they didn't increase the attempts yeah, yeah, that's true. So that was a problem with the event in the past. Is that we had to spend power cores to... To refresh the nodes. That was really, really trashy back in the day. 
And it seems like they didn't change it. So there we go. So 500 energy is enough to full clear. But then throughout the day, you need to... You need to refresh with power cores. Yeah, so 200 power cores is just for the energy. Throughout the day and on the bonus claim, you should also get additional energy for this event. So the power cores that you are spending is to refresh some of the nodes. You are fifth already? Wow. Guys, if you are a while, if you are a while, this is one of the best events that you have. If you are a while, this is one of the best events that you have because of these rewards. These are the rewards that really matter. Two diamonds juggernaut, very important. All this mutant gear for your apocalypse, for your nightcrawler, for Dark Dimension 7. This is like what? This is months, like in gold. In gold alone, this is massive. Like each piece is 400k gold. 240 multiplied by 400k times 2 because you get 2 of them so you guys can see 200 million gold in value if you get those high ranks 200 million gold in value it's huge really really huge yeah and the diamonds the diamonds are revolutionary as well this is a super stats based character he has a very good kit but he's super stats based and the bigger you have him the better so my goal is top 1000 if i get bigger than that great but if it's not fine okay so leader shards interesting leader shards how many shards do i have three shards Okay, here we go. 3, 2, 1. Okay, cool. So the thing they did is that uh, the ping from the website, now it's much slower than the ping from uh, in-game. So it's much easier to get anomaly detected if you try to to double up. Oh, so close, so close of that uh, stupid scroll. Fifty, only fifty away. Okay, if you are fifty away, then that's a different story. Let's see if you can get fifty dark promos from this. Please, only fifty. I'm not asking for much. Not even 25. The drop rate is like, what, 3% or something? Michael C, welcome back. Kraken Harder, yeah, absolutely. Waiting patiently. All the War Krakens are going to be all over this event. I'm not wasting trying to keep up. The Wall Street uh, brokers and Saudi princes of the game. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, true. Should I spend 100 cores for energy refreshes? If you spend the 400 cores, you have to spend more cores for the refresh of the nodes. So you have to remember that if you go beyond the 50s, you have to spend even more cores refreshing the nodes. Yes, you can do it. Yes. I think I spent 800 power cores on this event when it was the first time. 600 for energy plus 200 for the four nodes refreshed. Thank you, Michael C. Thank you. Uh, we'll we'll see. We'll see. Ernie Milky, she's in the in the hospital under observation, so we'll see what's gonna happen. Okay, do we still have we still have the trash anniversary bank for buck? Really crappy. 
Trade your Tena, Red Stars for Dark Promos if you have. I actually have. Yeah, I forgot about that. Maybe I can do like that. Please, game, don't crash. I don't want to spend quarters on Super Scroll. The game is lagging so much. Everyone is playing Cosmic Crucible. Everyone is doing all, the, all kinds of things. Okay, so there is a 10x. No, no 10x. Just 1x. But you are saying and it's true. I can use this one and get 100, right? So if I do like this, I should get 100. There we go. 10,000. 10,000 Dark Promos going straight for the stupid scroller. 7 red stars. Wow. The best thing about having a 7 red star scroll is that now I can focus everything on the 7 red star zombie juggernaut. There we go. Level 100, 7 red stars, stupid scroller. 420 million health. 167,000 damage. 124,000 armor. 48,000 focus. 623,000 power. Very nice. Very, very nice. We have some alien sports, but not enough to get him up. I think I'm going to leave him for last. I'm not sure yet. Depends if we have a bio event soon. So, we got a mystic event. Now we are getting a mutant event. The next event should be... Glo uh, bio, 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 bio. Sebastian, yes, we are going to do CC today. But we are catching up with events and so on. To see what we have to do in order to, to complete all the events. Okay, so stupid scroll is done. Now let's bring... Uh, where is the zombie jugs? We're going to put this guy on top uh, so he can track his progress. So I need uh, 200 shards for him. 200 shards for him. Oh, it's going to be tight. It's going to be very, very tight to get this guy maxed out. 200 shards. There is still like uh, a few from the, the battle pass. So 25, 50. Ooh. So I need 150 shards from the orbs. 150 shards from the orbs. And I only have one orb. Yikes. Oh my god, yikes. Where are we going to get more of these orbs? No, I'm not doing 800 for this event. I did in the past. Last year, in a, on Halloween, I did 800 cores for this event. Jared, my Crucible opponent, is Crucible number one in the Zombie Jugs event. Oh, let's check it out. Let's see who it is. Not here, on the milestones. You are facing Madred? Yikes. How many millions of TC pinas this guy has? 123, Golden Apocalypse, yikes. Whenever I see this Golden Apocalypse, I just want to run away. 7 red stars scroll or 6 red stars on Black Knight. So, I don't know, man. It's tough. Black Knight is always good. Scroll. Uh, I, I think Scroll is still more impactful than Black Knight. At least, uh, I, I think so. If, if you have enough for Scroll, maybe you should, you should go for Scroll. DJ Donk, full Pegasus, punch down, uh, 1 million on Bifrost into yes uh, i mean i'm not sure M maybe i would use dead seed if you guys are facing why frost use dead seed you don't have that seed there was an offer for 250 shards just for you yeah yeah but it's too expensive for me first time using cabal very clean let's see copy address Oops, not this one. Oh, 
copy. Oh, finally. So Cavallo with Kingpin and Mr. Negative versus Extreme plus Rogue in room six. Why would the guy use Extreme on room six? But yeah, look at the, the efficiency. You got a 30 drop, awesome man, awesome. I got uh, six red stars on scroll. Yeah, the, the 10,000. What beats Pegasus in room two? I have no idea. I don't remember what beats Pegasus in room two. Yeah, you can use I've Mind against uh, I've Mind beats by Frost very easily. By Frost get obliterated by I've Mind, especially if they have a small like Sylvie or Loki. Am I going to treat? No, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that because I'm going to spend power cores on these events. Eternals, no, I don't think Eternals beats Pegasus on the Raid Room. I'm not sure about that. Maybe Eternals with Apocalypse, but just Eternals, I don't think so. I think they're going to get destroyed. Lord Richard, not on the Raid Room. Only on the other rooms, not on that one. No, I've mind, I've mind beats by Frost, not the other way around. My guy has put scroll with by frost on room two. Yeah, I, I should have the. I have to look. I think I still have the spreadsheet from the season where we had the, the by frost on defense. I need some time to search it because in the past I had like different spreadsheets for each each season. So I need to see. I'm spending power quarters on the zombie event. That's when I'm going to spend my power cores. Zombie event. What beats I've mine on room two? I heard that Extreme beats it. And Pegasus might beat it if you play it properly. Yeah, that, that seed still counters. Like, I'm going to use that seed. If I face by Frost, I'm still going to use that seed. Even that I don't really remember the rotation. It was like disrupt on uh, Sylvie and then try to one shot Sylvie or something. I'm gonna try that seed. I even got my Dark Beast to gear 18 yesterday. Probably lost CC already. My maxed fire star can touch Black Knight with diamonds. So this is why I'm not using Ive Mine on defense. A lot of people, ah, oh, I've mine on defense. No, bro, you need your Void Knight to counter the, the Black Knight. If you don't use Void Knight to counter Black Knight, you're going to get stuck for sure. Pegasus beats I've mined, Stun Red Goblin with uh, Iron Heart. Yeah, I thought so, I thought so. VNM, what's up? Welcome back and welcome to the Alliance. Is this Age of X event worth spending power quarters? No, not right now. Un unless you don't care about Zombie Juggernaut. So the priority should be... The priority, priority should be... The, the Zombie Juggernaut event. Then the normal campaign energy. For gold orbs. If you are farming gold orbs. And then the Professor X uh, gold orbs. So those are the three places where you should be spending power quarters for energy. How big is my dead seed? It's like 2 million or something. This is my dead seed, 2 million. In the past it was already big enough to, to beat them. Maybe with diamonds they, they can't. That might be the problem, is the, the diamonds. If I face someone with super massive uh, by frost, maybe I don't have enough damage. But we'll see. 
Maybe it's time to get some diamonds on Magneto. Even I never saw Magneto in the store. I, thinking about that, never saw Magneto in the store. What if you use both Silver Surfers to flip everything and to remove the charges? I think it's a very good idea, VNM. The the if you still if you gear up the the OG surfer, it's still gonna be very good. It depends on on how you are doing with your Missy gear. Guys, if you are from our alliance, please check out your new red lines. Don't mess up. Okay, let's see what can we get from here. Two purples. Ooh, this is trash. This oh no, okay. This one is good for Kanga. This one is good for Star Lord. Could be worse then. My guy has a true three million by frost. Yeah, three million might be a little bit scary, yeah. They can punch up, yes. They can punch up a lot. I'm not sure if they can punch up against the three million by frost. Maybe it's time to level up your uh, your dead seed. Or not. Who knows? That's a decision you have to make for yourself. They put by frost in my room, was able to punch up. Awesome, awesome. There you go. So once again, you have two options against the by frost. Or dead seed or a hive mind. But you have to be careful with hive mind if you are facing Black Knight on defense. The Void Knight is very important against the, the Black Knight. Okay, so raid lanes. Speaking of raid lanes, let's open mine. Okay, let's see. Where am I? So left uh, group two. Okay, cool. Left group two. My guy has a 3 million by Frost today as well. I'm not gonna... <laughs> AVLA, what's up? Don't want to think. They just use the Dorky Dead defense. And they also have Gear T19, Robbie Race, and Nightcrawler. Yeah, this is gonna be the, the worst week. Genebra seguiu os teus conselhos no Crisola, mas sinto-me de... Pois, pois. Isso pode ser um problema. Isso é o que vamos analisar esta semana. É ver se temos coisas suficientes para o ataque. E tudo depende se tiveres o Iron Patriot e o Leader. Pegasus or by Frost on, room, on Raid Room. I think it's Pegasus. Matthew, what's up? I saw the tier list and it helped me a lot to build teams, but always running out of gold. Uh, the farming gold, you have to do like this. So you go in game, you bookmark all the characters that give gold orb fragments, and then you farm every day. Which I didn't farm today. So I'm not farming, but that's because I'm saving energy for upcoming event. If you are a new player, if you are a mid-range player, if you are not like at, at the very end game, you should farm these gold orbs daily. Be more likes, welcome back. Did they remove? Yes, yes, they removed that uh, that feature. And from the the recent news that you got today, the open all button might not return for uh, one month or so. I saw it for the leader. I use the leader as a striker. In my opinion, the leader is 100% striker. I saw Mobile Gamer using him as a skirmisher, like why? He's so good as a striker, like he does... Flips negative effects, heals the team, gives barrier, like he does so many things with the basic. I, I, I would never use him as a skirmisher. And he's super slow, like why? Just use the 2.7, I've mined, it was easy. Special Sylvie with White Knight. Kilt in Loki. Oh, there we go. So easy counter against uh, by Frost with uh, with Hive Mind. So yeah, the open all button might not return for another month or so. 
So if you have a lot of orbs to open, just sit on them for a while. We're gonna use him to to unlock a big boy apocalypse. Oh, I apologize, man. I, I keep forgetting about that. Someone asked me to do oh, okay. Someone asked me to do also Mystic Raid video. Is there a case for the leader as a raider? No, no, no way. Striker all the way. No raider. Raider on Patriot or Neymar? Of Nasser, welcome back. In order to make sure that you... The revives. But the revive... Removing revives is not affected by the... It's not affected by Skirmisher. The revives are affected if the characters have... What happened? It affects the characters if they have uh, evades or not. Okay, let's see. So I have to do a few raid attacks and then we, I think I can start to... Uh, oh no, I have to wait. Still have to wait uh, 20 minutes for this. Okay, so we're gonna enter. We're gonna enter and we're gonna wait. We're gonna check out the defense of uh, of this guy. This guy is strong. Like this guy is strong. I faced him multiple times before. I think I already faced him like three or four times. And most of the times he wins because I have too much on defense. We'll see if that's the case or not. Uh, and we're gonna also wait for these orbs. Hopefully I get lucky. And I can get my Zugs to, to 7 yellow. Wow, look at these. 2,000 of these orbs to open. And you have to open 10 by 10. How do I clear by Frost 2.5 million? My Dead Seed is only geared to 17. Use I've Mind. I've Mind use the Void Knight special on uh, Sylvie. And then you kill Tin Loki. We just had the uh, feedback of that. Tenho Iron Patriot, mas ainda não tenho Leader. Estão muito baixos. Tenho que estar a investir na, na equipa do Green Goblin. Pois, eu percebo, eu percebo. Tem de ser aos poucos. Faz o... O, o melhor é sempre puxar as personagens para nível 80, porque muitas delas são... E o que podes usar a nível 80? So, Genebra is saying that he doesn't have... Uh, the leader yet and Iron Patriot is still at low level but as I was saying before you should always take characters to level 75 or level 80 because many of them they, they have good stats and so on they do cool things but just using the, the basic abilities of the kids sometimes is more important than just uh, the damage they do and this is why I say like Iron Patriot with Sinister Six or Iron Patriot with, uh, with Masters of Evil because he, the 50% damage he gives to Kang is more important than the damage he gives himself. No, no. Cyclops doesn't have any problem with revives. It's the, the evades. If you guys are having problems with Cyclops revives in raids, it's because the enemies, they have uh, evades. Dark Dimension 7 Planner. These are the teams I have programmed to take. And sort of the order, sort of the order that I'm going to take. So full city plus Vale, then city global, then city global as well, and then legendary and legendary. It's divided in a way that I never have the same type of uniques in one line and the other. So these are the five characters I want to get up first. Here I have Osmium, so my second character with Osmium is one lane away and that's why they have some space in between just to make sure that uh, I don't mess up with uniques run and escape just got uh, to be careful with the retaliations from Bifrost took out a 2.1 Bifrost with a 1.9 million I've mined people do not copy mobile and orky CC defense 
<laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I'm gonna get a battery build. So battery build has some interesting mechanics with this basic. Damage against characters with defense up uh, is increased. He also flips defense up and regenerations. He gives energy to himself. He has a turn one stun. I think battery bill is a, a long term investment. He's gonna be one of those cosmic characters that will always have uh, always have value. Cabalti Force. I think it's all the specials. Let me see. So I did all of them, but uh, yeah, so I like uh, the basic of this guy because he applies to turns of negative effects. The special you can skip, the ultimate, it, it's it's okay, but it's not like must have. And the passive is must have. So basic, passive, maybe ultimate, skip special for uh, Iron Patriot. Namor, definitely the passive, 20% more damage, enemies cannot gain that proof. Then you also have the ultimate, 50% speed bar reduction. And the special is also nice, but for Namor is passive and ultimate. The special is okay, and the basic is somewhat skippable, but... Uh, I mean, it doesn't hurt, it doesn't hurt. And the leader, I did ulti force, but I don't remember. Safeguard, yes, that's nice. Unless you are not using them together. If you are not using them together, you can skip the, the that one. The ultimate is nice as well, depending on the team. Clear revive once from the enemies, gives more energy. The special in Crucible, apply safeguard, applies assist for two enemies. And then the basic. So on this one, on the leader, the leader has the most complicated T4s. All of them have somewhat value, but I would focus on the special and maybe the passive. And then it depends if you are using them on defense or on offense. Does Masters of Evil in room 5 win versus Dorm, Iron Patriot, Namora? Uh, yes, it should win, yes. Because they are much, much faster. No, I have not done my attacks yet. I'm waiting for the my arena to finish. Then I can do some raid attacks and then I'll start. So it's going to be like 10 more minutes or so. LVP is from your alliance. Finish the first three nodes. It doesn't look difficult. I mean, but the LVP was using a super team, no? I think I saw the first video from the LVP in, uh, in Dark Dimension 7. And he geared up uh, seven characters. He started with seven characters. And... Um, I don't think I follow LVP. Let me see. Terminator, who to use... Uh, of the leader in CC. It depends of the team. Are you using them together? Are you using them separated? You don't need to use the leader. You don't need to use the leader. You can use the characters individually. Okay, so I I started following the LVP recently. I don't he was talking trash about me for no reason. I don't know him from anywhere. But uh, I, if I remember correctly, it's like using a super team. So, I mean, this is the team that he's using. Is this a team that you would recommend for everyone? So he's using Val, Skrull, Apocalypse, Vulture, and Robbie Reyes. I mean, I'm not surprised that it was very easy for him. He's using three of the best Dark Dimension characters in game, or four. You can say four of the best Dark Dimension characters in game. But you also have to mention that LVP, he said that he spent $400 already, so this is not free to play. This is not free to play, this, this is wild territory. So keep that in mind. And uh, the thing is that he didn't uh, gear up any of his other teams as well, so... 2.7 Extreme on room 1 with Ormamo, with 2 diamonds. 
Use uh, Masters of Evil with, uh, with Iron Patriots. Cabal Infographic, very soon, very, very soon. Uh, probably today, or tonight, or probably within the, within the next 12 hours. Is Raider Eyes a way to? Yes, so you should use your Iron Patriot Skirmisher if you're going to take him to level 4. If you're going to take him to level 4. If you're going to take Iron Patriot to level 5, Eyes a way to, you should take him Raider. In terms of incursion, it, it uh, you, you just, so where is the thing? So VNM, it says left. You go to the left side, it doesn't matter which line. You have to go for a free line. It doesn't matter if it's the center line or if it's the, the middle line. So it says left, it means to the left group. So you have to go to this one. Now, if it's center left or right, it's a free node. Go for the free nodes. Manuel Carvalho, welcome back. Doing great. We have been discussing the, the several events we have going on right now and getting ready for Crucible. Uh, but yeah, like the, the characters that LVP is taking, these are must have characters, in my opinion. These are must have Dark Dimension 7 characters. So, of course, he made good choices. But if you are free to play, you might not be able to afford Apocalypse and Scroll on the first run. And that's why my recommendation is Craven and, uh, and Lizard. And for example, LVP is using two expensive Mystic characters. We have three sets here, we have three sets here. So this is not a, a free to play friendly team for you to use. Unless you don't mind waiting like four months to get up this team. They're releasing Zugs, Diamonds on the Elite Store? No. Only through the event. What can you use against Pegasus in Room 2? I think you can use Extreme and uh, maybe I've Mind. Maybe I've Mind will also be able to beat Pegasus. Depends on the size. Is it just me or the new event is a bit trash? So depends. If you're here in the past, if you're here last year on Halloween, this event is amazing. So I just did a, I just started the event and I already have 67,000 points. It depends on how many yellow stars and red stars you have on Zombie Juggernaut. I got these points and I didn't even attack in Alliance Wars. So these are going to be additional points that you can get towards the event. So 67,000 points already and you can get 100,000 extra points depending on your yellow stars. So saying this, it might even be possible to complete the milestone 20 without spending a lot. That uh, That is a big change of plans that I didn't think about. So I was expecting to get only milestone like uh, 16, but with these extra points might be able to push the event a lot more. Yeah, yeah, so LVP started with uh, with seven characters and he started with some of the most expensive characters. So it's not something that you should uh, recommend for everyone. LVP spends much on the game and tries to play it off like he's basically free to play. Yeah, he spent, so my limit is $300 per month. It used to be 250, now it's 300. Uh, just for inflation, 400, it's already more than me, but he doesn't gear up war teams and, uh, and crucible teams. Was going about uh, dummy conservatives in one of the videos. Yeah, LVP, he, he talks from his voice. I would say that is, I don't know. It seems like he's very liberal and he's anti-conservative, so. Maybe that's why he doesn't like me. I saw some screenshots of him talking on the official Discord server, talking trash about me. I'm not even on that Discord, so. You say Cabal level 80 gear T15 works? Yes. Yes, yes. Because of their passives, yes. Because of their passives. Yes, 100% Cabal works at low level. Or, I mean, 
gear tier 15 because of their passives because they boost other characters iron patriot gives 50 percent more damage to other villains so that alone is going to make your kang 50 percent better speaking in a in ridiculous terms okay we are still on rank two let's see if it holds Hitting raids, then war, then CC. We don't have war today. We don't have war today. Just make sure you update your defense. The defense recommendation is on the... For the people from my alliance. The defense that you need to, to use. It's not, uh, it's not suggestions. It's must use. It's on war defense meta. And there is a, a import code that you can copy. If you want to copy paste the, the teams. Why don't you use the... Yeah, you can use the ultimate or the special. It works both ways. It works both ways. I'm not sure why people are saying you cannot use the ultimate. You can. But I think maybe it's more safe to use the, the special. I'm not sure. Or maybe they get immunity. I don't remember. But someone in the chat said that they used the ultimate and it was fine. They put a raid room to protect the whales. I'm not sure if it will protect the whales. 3 million power out of time wouldn't die. Yikes. My battery, 64%. We are good, we are good. We are good. Uh, we, just, uh, we are just waiting for Arena to finish so we can move on. Hopefully they will fix the, the arena situation soon. You will lose with Hive Mind if you use the ultimate. And what what's the reason behind the what's the reason behind that? It's because of the counter attacks. It's the counter attacks or is the something else? Ability block won't land. Even what? So even with the uh, 1000 more focus, it doesn't lens the, the ability blocker. So, but why does the ability block fail? I'm a magician, welcome back. Use a special on uh, Sylvie. It can get resisted even with 5,000 extra focus. Wow. Wow, that's kind of crazy. Jared, I used the ultimate and it worked just fine. Okay, so there you go. Maybe it's the deflects. Maybe it's not the, the resistance, it's the deflects. Because they spawn with deflects. Arena, defense, meta and offense, it depends. It really depends on the enemies that you are facing. If you are facing Nightcrawler, you can use... Uh... You always have to use Black Knight. You always have to use Apocalypse. If you are facing Nightcrawler, you can use Superior Six. If you are facing... Uh... Black Cat, you have to use your own Black Cat with Empowered Abilities. If you are facing Robbie Rays and Hard Light, you should use the Scroller. So it really depends on uh, the team that you are facing. Okay, we have 34 seconds. Let's see if it holds. Team Loki gives safeguard. But but doesn't give immunity. It, I mean, but can you be able to block or is just sometimes? The problem is the deflex. The problem is not the, the resistance now. Yeah, he cannot flip, yes. But he should be able still to ability block. Don't have Prometheum to upgrade Neymar, yikes. Use the special and the got record. Okay, so you can see of Nazare use the special and he also got record. Guys, still the safest team is uh, Dead Seed. <laughs> so either way. You can win with the ultimate and you can lose with the special. So once again, it's not about one or the other. 
Pauli, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the chat. And uh, Beast Slayer, welcome to the chat as well. Thanks for the follow, guys. Remember, they resist Magneto Special as well. Yeah, so the benefit of Magneto Special... Why is Magneto Special better? Because he removes the deflects. That's why Magneto Special is better. Because he removes the deflects. That's it. So, applies Disrupt, clears positive effects. And applies Ability Block. That's why Magneto Special was better than other things. Because if you don't remove the deflects, they still have 25% chance of failing the attack. Let's see this one. Okay, so there you go. Even Sebastu is showing 2 million power team. Void Knight Raider, maybe... I, I'm not sure if Skirmisher is going to help, because the problem is, once again, it's the deflects that the, the, the battery bill gives. Battery bill gives deflects, and if you cannot remove those deflects, it's, uh, it's over. The problem with Void Knight is that uh, Void Knight gives safeguard to the enemy team, makes the deflects harder to remove. Thank you, Paul. Thank you. Thank you for the the, the comments. Very appreciated. Some, yeah, someone attacked me in arena. Those motherfuckers. Who was it? We're going to put this guy on blacklist. Maximum effort. Oh my god. This, this guy is done. We're going to get this guy on the blacklist. Okay, let's smash this. Like I said, we're gonna just do a few raid attacks to spend the energy and then we're gonna do the Crucible. Today we are facing someone very powerful in Cosmic Crucible. So hopefully it will be a good match. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna do just one or two attacks. Or maybe I should do the three attacks. Yeah, so someone is asking to make a video about the Mystic Nodes with a small team. Maybe we'll do that. I will get wrecked no matter what. Doesn't uh, everyone have uh, 500,000 plus Val? The problem is not a Val. The problem is always the, the deflects of the enemies. What kind of dead seed? I, I'll try. I'll try that seed. I'll try that seed. I don't mind losing the... Sorry, I, I don't mind losing the first attack. I don't mind losing the first attack to do the seed for science. Extreme, uh, yes, extreme is very strong in all rooms. Extreme will be painful in all the rooms. For example, even extreme on room four, or room, yeah, room four, where villains get less health, it's more likely for your, uh, your gambit to destroy the, the enemies. Okay, here we go. Let's see if you can one shot these mystic nodes. So we are going to do the mystic nodes with my 1.5 million power by frost. This was requested on the live stream. And I use this setup of isolate and this specific position because it maximizes the best counter attacks, which is the counter attack from Loki and the counter attack from Val. Val applies exposed, Loki applies defense down and bleeds. And Battery Bill is also a tank, he's gonna have the taunt. So the more counter attacks he does, the better. And he also flips, regens and defense down uh, or defense up on the enemies with his counter attack. So this is the, the cheapest way, best way to maximize the value of your uh, Bifrost. Big Val, big Battery Bill. The other character's guilty 15 is enough, uh, level 80. As you guys can see. And that's it. Here we go. Skirmisher on Battery Bill is also important, not only because he's a taunt character, but also because he applies stun, because he also flips positive effects into negative effects with his ultimate. So all of that is very welcome for, uh, for your journey in raids and outside of raids. Okay, so I usually apply vulnerability to Rogue, and I use the mind control to get rid of the Spider-Man. It doesn't always work because he can uh, dodge, 
the types of the enemies, but he's definitely one of the characters that you want to prioritize in finishing him. And you want to make sure that you clear that you clear that evade from him so you can land the ability block on him, otherwise it won't work. Okay, so we have that taunt on Phoenix. We're going to remove the taunt. We're going to remove the offense subs from the Kestrels. Phoenix dies, no problem. Morgan Lafay, you have to be careful with her. You want to make sure that she gets the, the lead as fast as possible. We have one stun. Let's get that stun on Spider-Man. And now Morgan Lafay, she has immunity. So be careful with that. Don't want to waste abilities. But you can apply the expose to her even with immunity. And you really want to make sure that uh, you rush on deleting her. Now, we are facing Castle, but we can still use the Loki ultimate to give speed up and offense up to the other characters. And uh, let's see if now we have the chance of uh, stunning the, the Emma Frost. We're going to use the ultimate of uh, Teen Loki to give safeguard. Thanks to this, you don't need to have these characters as big, right? Okay, let's try to stun the Morgan of Fire. Skirmisher has a way better way build, land the stun on Morgan Fay, very important. And now we can use the ultimate of better way build, or uh, Val, sorry, Val. Striker has a way to get deleted. And now all you have to do is to make sure you have enough energy to use the abilities from Val again. Let's flip those positive effects again, not super important. But uh, we are just going through. Let's basic this Castle. I prefer to finish off Castle over the other characters. Uh, apply the Expose to a character that does not have defense down, so it lasts a little bit longer. Use the Sylvie Basic to turn away the enemies. 5% or 15% or something. Once again, apply the Expose to a character that does not have defense down. Otherwise, they might die too fast. We have those evades, so you don't have to be afraid of the Castle's nonsense we can use the basic now now he's just going to spam basics to have full energy another basic the basic of battery bill gives energy to himself so you don't have to be too worried about the the energy that he has okay and now we are just going to finish this we should be at full energy with every character you can spam the abilities of uh, sylvie i have not been using them but you can spam and we should be good to go I think everyone is at full energy. And we can use this stun. Let's play it safe. Let's use the stun. And now you just have to attack over and over again to give more energy. And that should be the game over. Node number one, 1.5 million team. Only invest on the characters that matter. The other ones you can skip. Okay, let's go. Not the fastest, but uh, these are uh, what? 30 million gold that you are saving by having this character so small. Okay, here we go for node number two. Hopefully the Reaper will not jump for the boss. Let's go. So on node number two, all you have to do is to focus on uh, Robbie Reyes and Archangel. Once again, with the battery build skirmisher, you want to make sure that you land a stun on Archangel. And then you want to delete or also reapply a stun to, to Robbie Reyes with, um, with Sylvie special. Okay, we're going to be able to block everyone, apply the expose. We are going to use the ultimate of Team Loki to get that safeguard, just in case. Okay, now we're going to stun the bet the... The Cosmic Ghost Rider or the Robbie Race Ghost Rider first because he has already a lot of charges. And now you're going to stun the Archangel. Great. Now, even if they kill minions, it's fine because all the characters are stunned and uh, they cannot get uh, triggered by that. We're going to use the offense up to delete all the enemies at the same time. Okay, good to go. And now we're going to try to finish off the, um, this guy over here, the Robbie Reyes. Let's use the basic and attack the Archangel and the Robbie Reyes at the same time. We need to apply vulnerability to another character soon. Not vulnerability, sorry, exposed. Let's do it to Miss Marvel. 
Dark Beast, you can attack, but it's not going to be a big deal. Let's apply Expose here. So we can charge up the cooldowns for uh, Val again. You want to make sure that you start uh, the boss node with uh, the ultimates ready. Of Val and also of everyone else. Let's use the basic over here. Okay, let's apply another Expose to the Asian Venom. And now Teen Loki or Loki's Mind Control, great. And now he's just turning one of these Mofas to Oblivion. And they should die with the Bleeds. Okay, there you go. Very easy, very nice. Once again, this allows us to save billions, billions of gold. I'll do to inflation. And now just go away. Oh, there you go. Okay, let's see if we can do the boss. As well, if the boss is available or not. Okay. On the boss, all you have to focus, in my opinion, is to make sure that... Uh, oh, they already started the boss. So you have to do the boss other day. Yikes. Okay, let's do the... Let's see if you can see me. We'll do the boss other day. No video then. My Pegasus beta the full extreme in room 2. No rogue. Yeah, the, the rogue there is what makes the difference. The rogue there is what makes the difference. I used all my gold to level up uh, new Avengers for the Green Goblin Trials. Yeah. But, but not too much. Not too much. Yeah, the, beta, the battery build is nice because it gives you value in, uh, in Alliance Wars. And also in other game modes, like Avengers Tower. I'm not sure if you guys saw the data mines, but we might get some... Um, we might get some... Uh, what's the name? P Pocket Dimension. Pocket Dimension might return sooner. And it seems like I'm doing red. Is it red or blue? Okay, let's go. Superior 6 in room 4. SD with Noir in room 6. No clue what to use. Use the SD and you got smoked. New Warriors against SD and got smoked. Yikes. Already frustrated at this new season. Yeah, just be patient, man. Just be patient. It's just the beginning of the season. Don't get too stressed about it. The, the biggest problem is the, the safeguards. The safeguards we deflect makes it very difficult to land the, 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 negative effect, the negative effects. I can't beat extreme on node 1 in the... In the incursion, you... You can't beat the node one of the of the mutant line, or I don't understand the Michael Star. I don't understand the question. Anyone else having problems with Black Knight? The Black Knight they are not in the story yet. Did they mention that Black Knight diamonds are in the story? I don't think so. I didn't see any announcement of Black Knight diamonds in the story. Was this something that the Envoy said? It was. I don't think it was in the blog. 607, welcome back. How do you beat Dorm SD in room 6? I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, so we should have Pocket Dimension and Escape from Kyle soon. Yes. Yeah, yeah. The problems are the safeguards. Yeah. Would Cabal work versus SD? No, no. I mean, yes, yes. Cabal works versus Morgan Lafay, yes. If you use Cabal versus Morgan Lafay, she stops getting speed bar, but not against Hard Light. It does not stop Hard Light. 
Yeah, I don't think we'll see the diamonds for Black Knight uh, anytime soon. If, Uma, if anyone said that, uh, I don't think it's true. At least based on information I have. Okay, so what I have to do? Let's see. I think we are fine. I think I can start the, the Crucible. Once again, today we have a big match versus Mr. Uh, Puel or something. Not really sure what Puel means. What is this blue dot? Okay, blue dot for Professor X. Let's go. Make sure you guys get uh, all those gold fragments daily. Okay, cool. And uh, that's it, okay? Yes, okay. We can start. Did the raids, right? Yeah, okay, cool. Okay, here we go. Let's see what this guy has on defense. First, not me, the other guy. Okay, so Extrema with X23 and Dormammu on room 1. Pegasus on room 2. 3 million power Pegasus, yikes. Unlimited with Black Knight, okay. Scroller on 4 with Vulture, Sylvie. Oh, th this is a great idea. Wow, that's a great idea. That's a very good idea. Big shout out to Mr. Pool. This is a great idea. I'm telling you, like, this guy, Mr. Pool, is very good. Original teams, good ideas. What are your thoughts on Room 4, Captain America, Captain Carter, Black Knight, Red Hulk? That's a very easy team. Cabal there, no, Cabal there is overkill. You can use Void Knight, Nova, and uh, Red Hulk. You can use your own Red Hulk. And some any other character to do damage. That team was in uh, in the last season. It was very easy to beat. Void Knight with your own Red Hulk, with uh, Emma Frost to have the speed bar advantage. Nova and one more character to do damage or turn you wind on the enemies. Z Zugs for Dark Dimension Seven, at least five five. At least 5-5, five, five, Malorian. He put that seed on defense. Yikes. I have Rhino on offense, so it shouldn't be a big deal. And then he has Secret Defenders. 3 million power. Holy shit. Ugh. So what beats Pegasus? I'm not sure if I have a team to beat Pegasus. Yeah, good luck, yeah. I'm gonna place Cabal in room, f room 5. Yeah, I actually don't think I have enough for this. Uh, maybe... 7 rest stars. Ooh, but Striker, Striker... Striker scroll, that's a problem. If it was Raider Scroll. Juninho, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the chat. Ou bem-vindo ao chat, não sei. These are some tough teams. Yikes. Big, big yikes. So the Black Knight here is a very good idea because it stops the. It stops you from not. From not uh, I mean, from applying ability block to Rogue. This is a very, very good defense. Remember when Astonishing X-Men was the Apex Ray team? Long ago, when the pyramids were still younger. Long ago, when the pyramids were still younger. Five strikers? Oh, yeah, that's dumb. Okay. I guess it's because of the... Room 4, Unstable Energy. 
I don't know why he has five strikers. That's very strange. Juicy, what's up? Full Masters of Evil walks over. Full Masters of Evil. The, the problem. Yeah, okay. The problem is the room four. Not using. I, I could try to. Try to cheese the. Room 4 with Doctor Doom, right? It's a lot of damage. Oof, that, that Room 4 is very interesting. And then we have uh, Nightcrawler on uh, 1. I'm actually not sure what to use against Pegasus. I think Pegasus is the biggest problem. I don't have Cabal on offense. I have only the Leader and Neymar. And I have only the, the Patriot and Neymar. I don't have the Leader. I'm thinking about uh, maybe something strange. So I don't have anywhere to use. Uh, I don't have anywhere to use uh, Tangle Web. From all these rooms, I don't think I can use Tangle Web anywhere. So I might use Tangle Web with uh, Tangle Web with uh, with these guys. So I remove the Mysterio. Put here the Weaver. And 2099. Maybe I'm going to use this team here. Fix your defense. <laughs> Extreme Rogue Room 1. Against Extreme, you can use uh, what I'm using now. Vulture, Vulture is good against Extreme. Cabal with Ormond Scroll in Room 4. <laughs> Uninstall. Do you, you have Black Knight on, uh, on uh, defense, I guess. I think mo might be more important to use... Uh, I'm not sure. What is more important? Black Knight on offense or Scroll on offense? Or neither? Just let a shot play. No. You, you, are, you are watching the wrong, uh, the, wrong, the wrong guy. Room 1, did they fix the bug? We don't know yet. I guess you're going to find out. I've mind counter in room 2. Some people were saying Pegasus, but I'm not sure. Vulture was never Superior 6. Vulture needs two Superior 6 allies to activate his passive. He was never Superior 6. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna try this. So well, let's do let's do a video. Season one. Okay, so today we are facing Mr. Pool. Mr. Pool once again. We have faced Mr. Pool so many times. It's crazy. Mr. Pool is coming from the Alliance French Legion, and this is why we, I said we face him so many times. Because not only face him in Cosmic Crucible, but also in Alliance Wars. He's coming to us with a TCP ness of 84 million. So that means we are punching up 6 million. Because of level 100, we were able to catch up uh, quite a lot uh, yesterday. 
And uh, Mr. Puyol, he has some very interesting and original teams on defense. Extreme with X23 and Ormamo on room 1. Pegasus, 3 million power on room 2. Then he has Unlimited with uh, Black Knight on room 3. Super Scroll with uh, Bifrost and Vulture on room 4. This is very, very interesting because of all the turning wine, the enemies do turn one. On room number five, we have uh, Dead Seed with Spider-Man Big Time, not exactly sure why. And then we have a basic Secret Defenders with uh, Noir on room six, which I don't think it will be a problem. So definitely some very interesting and original defenses, which we'll have to, to play for science and see if we can find the answer, right? So here we go. They have explaining, welcome back. Apocalypse Pegasus beats Pegasus, remove Castro. Shows facing Valley today, awesome man, awesome. Congratulations, make sure you crush him. And uh, and push him down, pushing down the leader, the leaderboard or the the thing. Cabal easy one million punch shop into SD dorm MLF. Yeah, but that's a very expensive team. Like if you're using Cabal on uh, on that team, that's expensive counter. Lizard don't make a red with them. Yeah, I'm gonna. I thought Lizard was going to be good on offense. Let's see how good. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna use this hybrid Tangle Web with the Sinister Six versus Extreme Dormammu in Room One. Supposedly characters with the Skirmish Rise of White Apply ability block, but who really knows? And uh, we're gonna use uh, Craven and uh, also. Spider Weaver as strikers because they can kill enemies and they can no longer revive. So we're gonna do 400k punch up. Let's see how it goes. In theory, this works very easily. In practice, who knows? They spawn with speed up, that will allow Vulture to remove their evades. And then we have 2099 that should also clear some of that nonsense over there. I'm going to clear those positive effects from uh, from Dormammu. I think I, I can ignore Dormammu now. Okay, let's apply slow over here in the middle. And now we are going to apply vulnerability to Forge. Okay. Now, Lizard here. We don't have to use his ultimate. So I might just do what? The basic... Let's just do the basic. Everyone is ability blocked. It's great. Now we are going to ability block again. The that guy over there. Okay, here we go. Special. And you're gonna try to finish him off with the Weaver. Weaver still didn't take a turn, which is a big yikes. So let's do that. Striker eyes away. Is it enough to finish him off? Yes, it is. There we go. Weaver to the moon. And now we have the charges from Weaver. So it should be fine. Turning wind that uh, Dormammu before he does funny stuff. We are going to ability block uh, this guy as well. Dormammu gets a bunch of speed bar. If he's ability blocked, so we have to be careful with it. Spider Weaver now, she's going to spread that offense up. Unfortunately, it didn't spread for Craven, but we're going to use the Lizard now to spread offense up for Craven. And then Craven should be able to obliterate these Mofos. Okay, there you go. Craven with offense up. Like, guys, Craven is one of the best characters in the game. Some people talking touch about my boy Craven. You are just racist. Okay, so here you go. Look at Craven. Two diamonds, level 97. This guy, like, does insane damage. 1.3 million. Characters cannot be revived, and if they have offense down, he applies more bleeds, and he does a ton of damage. This guy is just stupid. Okay, now you just have to finish off this Nightcrawler. Big ultimate from Nightcrawler, that's fine. 
He does the funny stuff, but we have Weaver, bro. Like, we have Weaver. Go away. Remove the evades. We also have Drainus, so we should be able to heal up. Lizard now with a special. He's going to clear the negative effects away and heal up the team a little bit. Yeah, we have the charges. More charges for Weaver now. So we are going to, to do what? Stun or heal? We're going to stun first. Let's stun first. Vulture should be with his special again. Yes, let's go. Okay, we have now ability blocker. Not that it matters. Craven with the basic striker is a weight. He gets a bunch of damage with his charges. Heal up for the efficiency. Striker is a weight. And there we go. Easy. Easy. <clears throat> Craven is trash. I said it. Deal with it. Craven is going to be my next character to three diamonds. He's, he's just so good in my opinion. Okay, trash efficiency, but guess what? We cleared. All that matters is, is clearing. Okay, so... Yes, Green Goblin on offense. That's going to be a problem. To counter this scroll, man. This scroll is going to be so difficult to counter. This scroll is going to be super difficult to counter. I think I have to use Masters of Evil against him. Masters of Evil against him with Apocalypse. Unstable energy. So I need to have as many villains as possible, so I don't trigger the, the Vulture ultimate. As many villains as possible. Sack the room 4. I'm not sure if I have to sack the room 4. I think I just have to bring a lot of villains. So let's get, we cannot get Hella. You cannot get Hella because of the Gregs. But we need a pre taunting tank. So I'm going to bring Zombie Juggernaut. We're going to bring Dr. Doom. I think without Dr. Doom is impossible. Zombie Juggernaut. Yeah, it has to be something. It has to be something like that. Uh, could I bring Archangel here? Archangel plus Magneto. Let me see how fast Magneto is in this specific situation. So Magneto with uh, 15 plus 15 times 1. So Magneto 128. So Magneto should go before uh, the Archangel and Val. That will give more health to Archangel as well. <laughs> I hope not. Yikes. I hope not. Okay, so the scroller is going to rewind Archangel. I think rewind Archangel is not a big deal. Let's put the Doom here in the middle. 
Okay, we're gonna see. I don't have a lot of options. We'll see. So, my logic... So, Magneto will go before all of them, except the, the scroll. This will be bad, why? Why? Magneto goes before all of them except the scroller. He's gonna try to blind them. It doesn't really matter if he blinds or not. All we need is for uh, for Doctor Doom and Apocalypse to stay far away. But I don't need Magneto for anything. Magneto is here just to give more health to Archangel so he doesn't die. Magneto is not here for anything, just giving more health to to Archangel, so he doesn't die with the, the Ruin. Magneto here is just here for the passive, to give extra health to Archangel, so Archangel doesn't die. If he applies blind or not, that's irrelevant. The scroll is gonna wipe me. Oh, that's true, I forgot. This is room 4, I forgot it's room 4. Okay, so then I'm gonna use this team. I forgot it's room 4. I thought it was room 3. Archangel there uh, to give more armor. No, so, I don't know. Let's see. What can I do? I cannot do anything. Maybe I can bring what? Uh, the... Um, bring like uh, Minerva to revive the Doctor Doom. Okay, I'm gonna go like this. So the goal is make scroll go first, pop the Doom, and there is nothing I can do after. Skirmisher. Doctor, Doctor Doom is gonna die anyway. I don't have Cabal on offense. I don't have Cabal on offense. Okay, I'm going to try it for science. Then we'll see. You could use Noir to bite the scroll into attacking Duma. How can I do that? It's all about uh, Doctor Doom staying alive or not. I don't have Dormammu on offense. There is no character that can revive Doctor Doom. So there is nothing I can do here. Okay, anyway, this is what I'm gonna try. So we're gonna use uh, Apocalypse with the Dead Seed and Captain America Doctor Doom. We're gonna try for a uh, the scroll to attack uh, Dr. Doom and he stays alive. My Dr. Doom is level 97, I think. I'm not sure if uh, that's enough to keep him alive or not. So we'll see. Just hoping that these characters are beefy enough to, to survive the attack. Here we go. Dr. Doom is going to attack with 25% uh, less health. We'll see. I gave him Fortify Eyes Away to let's see if it's enough. He also has the Deflects. Yeah, everyone died. Wow. Literally everyone died right away. So, Apocalypse. Can he have two turns? I'm not sure about it. Mm. Okay, let's just smash the scroll in the face. Can we delete him? Yes, we can delete the scroll. Okay, basic on Valu. Okay, another basic. Okay, guess what? You guys are all bitches. Wow, 
he revives the scroll. Why not? Okay, let's try to delete uh, both of them at the same time. We have offense up. Oh, he almost deleted the scroll. Counter. Okay, almost, almost. We almost one shot of the, the Val. Unfortunately, the Val was too big. They them were was too big. So, I mean, could be worse, it could be worse. But the, the revive on, on scroll is definitely going to cause some problems. Okay, so what are we going to do now? So, we can use... Uh, does I've mind beats Pegasus? I'm not sure. Not sure if I have mind beats Pegasus. Um... This one, I think uh, there is no reason to not use uh, New Warriors here. Now, the last member, who's going to be the last member? They're using Neymar. No, I, I could use Neymar. They have uh, the Noir. Bifrost beats Pegasus. I don't have Bifrost. Just lost three times for science. They had Seed versus Bifrost. Just because I couldn't remember what to do. Uh, yeah, th yeah, that's the problem. Yeah. Okay, who to use here? I could use here Kestrel. I could use here Kestrel, I guess. Nova, Nova for the Stana. Or Phoenix, or uh, anything. This is the problem. Sometimes you have so many options that you don't know what to use. You copied exactly my defense. I already used a Lizard. I already used a Lizard. I had to use Lizard in another room. Okay, I guess I'm going to use uh, Kestrel. Does he have any other summoners or something? He does not have other summoners. That Black Knight might cause me some problems on room 3. And... Uh, So I could use Neymar here, but I'm not sure if my team survives long enough. Let's go like this. Okay, we're going to try like this. So we're going to use uh, new Warriors versus Neymar. This is on room 6 versus Seeker Defenders with Noir. Probably Neymar is overkill. I was thinking about using Castle, maybe. Not sure exactly which one is going to be the best option. But let's see. It's the usual, right? If you get the evades on the right place, we win. Oof, we almost uh, got screwed. Okay, so here we go. We didn't flip the immunity, which is a problem. But now we are going to apply slow to all these mofos. Okay. And uh, now we are going to do what? A spread of disruptor. Turning wind on black cat, and now you're gonna try to turn you wind the. Why is Robbie Ray going so fast? Oh man, I got unlucky with the for the Scaradmel. Got unlucky with the with the rewinds. Really unbelievable. Try again, same shit. Man, these rewinds, if you get rewind on the wrong place, it's really trash. And uh, not clearing that immunity. That's why the um, 
the lizard is so good because of the um, removing the immunity. The more bleeds. Yeah, yeah, I should. Uh, so the photon being in the middle, it's it's good. The guy, it's like I said, this guy is smart. He put the photon in the middle, so you cannot turn your mind the Robbie Reyes and the Black Hat at the same time. So let's see. Okay, a little bit better on the rewinds. Oh, but photon now. Uh, this is still not good. Still has the immunity. Now Clocos first. So let's try to turn in wind that uh, Robbie race. He also got blind. That's good for us. Okay, now we have evades. Let's see if he can survive. Firestar dies right away. Yikes. Not getting very lucky over here. Okay, so we're going to spread that blind. Neymar, please take a turn. Okay, Gigantum. But my team is already very, very low. Uh, for some reason, Robbie Reyes didn't go turn winded. Why didn't go turn winded? Okay, we clear those negative effects away. And we got uh, some technical difficulties. Great as well. Man, this is not easy. This is definitely not easy. So I'm just going to... My team is too small. That's another problem. Level 100 versus level 97. I guess we're going to go after the Black Cat. Oh, you don't have enough charges. Ooh, that was a big fail. Oof. Bro, like, what am I going to use here? Got literally no progress here. Okay, I'm going to keep it. Why don't you fire start a ultimate? I don't know. Maybe I, I played it wrong. I, I actually don't remember. I didn't pay enough attention to see that. Ooh, yikes. Okay, cool. So I still don't know how to beat this Pegasus. I guess I'm going to try I've mind. I guess I'm going to try I have mine here and hope it works. I'm actually not sure if it works. We're going to do it for science. One million punch up. <sighs> One million punch up. Oh, that's painful. That's really painful. Um, do they need to be all together to get the speed barrier? I'm not even sure about that. I think my open sim is just way too big. Enemies cannot gain immunity. Spawns with speed up. Uh, I'm not sure if they go first. Yeah, I lost the charges there, yeah. Okay, let's see. I also have Pegasus. I guess I can mirror a match. We'll see. You get ability block on all targets in raids. Void Knight, Red Goblin, Eternals. Eternals here could be interesting. Eternals here could be interesting for sure. Yeah, I'm not sure who goes first. But uh, I assume that you have to stun the... The Iron Heart first, yeah. I think all of them are going to get ability blocked, right? I'm just not sure if uh, this team has those limitations that you need uh, all the characters at the same time or not. But I'm going to go like this. Okay, so we're going to use uh, I've Mind against uh, Pegasus. See if it works. I'm not sure about it. We're going to apply Disrupt to Iron Man. 
ability blocker, the Iron Heart or Rescue. All of them should get ability blocker. We'll see. So she goes first. And she stun at the two. Great. So it's not good. They don't go first. And then they get her rewinded. So yeah, it doesn't work. So what if you bring uh, them with uh, Emma Frost? Yeah, Eternals there don't work. So we're going to try the same thing this time with Emma Frost. Instead of Venom, I think that's the best option. Not sure if this, this, if this works. We are doing for science. It's day one of Crucible. Infinity Watch entry is a joke. It's like too easy or... Uh... No Emma. Iron Heart goes first no matter what. Why why no matter what? Let's see. So Iron Heart, where are you at? On spawn, fill the speed bar of all Pegasus allies, plus 15. So she's like, uh, she has the same passive as Magneto. So let's put here. Iron Art. And then 20 speed, and then she gets 15 plus 15, so that's 75. And uh, Void Knight, uh, Gang Cabal, uh, Emma. Okay, so Emma, yes. And then we have uh, Void Knight, speed up, yes. So even with the, uh, I'm not sure if this is correct, but Void Knight even with the speed bar and speed up is not enough to catch them up. Yeah, so I'm better off using the the mirror match. Fifteen percent per member. The Sylvie goes first. I have I have uh, Sylvie, but my my by frost is very very small. No, I don't have Bifrost. I actually don't have Bifrost. I have Bifrost on defense. Okay, we're going to go for the mirror match and then we're going to clear up. Man, this cable today is really shitty. Bifrost can tank them. Not my Bifrost. My 1.5 million Bifrost definitely cannot uh, tank them. Okay, let's see. Pegasus versus Pegasus mirror match. This is going to be fun for sure. Maybe I should have used Quicksilver to help out. So I went first. I'm going to use my castle to remove the... Oh, she didn't remove the offense up. That's great. She didn't remove the offense up. 
Uh, for some reason, my guy goes first. Okay. So my guy goes first. We turn you on them. Then we stun the Iron Heart, I guess. We also stun the, the other girl over there. Now we have an ability block. Or a ultimate. I guess we're gonna go for the ultimate. Who knows? Since we went first. We go after Iron Heart, double tap those other girls over there. Wow, okay. One million punch up, guys. One million punch up your match. As long as you go first, you win. Which is not a surprise, I guess. Yikes. One million punch up. My team is absolute trash. My my Dark Hawk and Iron Art, they are uh, very small. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know, it worked. That's all that matters is that it worked. Okay, so can I clear the... Can I clear room f 6 with Wakanda? I still have that stupid scroll over there. Let's see if you can clear this room with Wakanda. We also have Hive Mind. Hive Mind. Uh, I guess I could use Hive Mind here too. Since they're almost dead. Or save Hive Mind for the, the other guy. What did I use on room room one? I used the Sinister Six with the Tango Web. Sinister Six with Tango Web. Okay, let's clear up the house. Oh man, I'm really not sure about this. Uh, okay, since they are a sheep of the way, we might get some turn bonus. Okay, so we're gonna use uh, I've Mind to clear up room six versus Secret Defenders. Not sure if this is gonna be a good option, but maybe you can trigger the the Carnage special early early on. As long as you don't get turn winded on uh, on that uh, cosmic mofo, we should be fine. Okay, let's flip all those buffs. I hope uh, yes, it worked. We didn't got anyone below 25, but Black Cat, she died right away. Let's apply this Disrupt to Robbie Ray's. Now we have our girl with a big ultimate. Good. Still no one dropped. Okay, finally they dropped. Let's do the ultimate. Flip that guy over there. And then smash that hard light. Okay. Easy clean up, I guess. But to be expected. Now a double basic, and there we go. Cool, cool, cool. So I have mine easy clear up versus Secret Defenders. Noir will ruin my day. Why would he ruin my day? You are so negative, Sawaner. I think you are watching way too much Dulum. The mini art grave. And, and now you are too negative. I've mind with Morgan Lafay to spread the bleeds. Uh, yes, yes, that could be a good counter for the future. Patrick, I think the health may. Yeah, I, I was not sure about it. What counters I've mind in room two? <laughs> I don't know, Wonder Bucket. <laughs> Pegasus, Bifrost, supposedly. Not sure, I don't think so. Because of the bleeds. Okay, but I, apl I apply more bleeds to them. Lord Richard, thanks for showing up. Have a good, a good night. Yeah, exactly. Who watches Doolum? Yeah. Like, Doolum is the, the Artgrave Jr. 
He is the biggest cancer that has showed up in this community since Artgrave. Artgrave Jr. Okay, so Dead Seed with uh, our boy Big Time. We still have Wakanda, but you cannot use Wakanda there. Mm, I still need to beat this scroll somehow. How can I beat this scroll? Red Hulk? Big Silver? I need characters without buffs on spawner. This guy. Unstable energy. So in this room, they have less health. Uh. Can you beat by Frost with Pegasus in room two? I think so, but it depends on how you play it. Uh, with new warriors, little lazy. With new warriors, new warriors there does not work very well because they go super faster. I think I have Noir on offense. Let's see if I have Noir on offense. Okay, I have Noir on offense. The problem is that I'm not sure if these Mofos spawn with buffs or not. Ultron is good. Uh, Ultron is good, but not here. Does she give buffs to him? She doesn't do anything for him, so let's remove that. Okay, I'm going to take uh, Emma Frost here. If I can find her, or maybe I already used her. No, she's still here. Okay, I'm not sure if this is enough to stop the scroller, but I actually have no idea. Okay, here we go. So we're going to use a hybrid team to see if we can stop the scroller and uh, the... The Val, I'm not sure if it's going to work or not. But we need fast characters without uh, buffs. Uh, let's use maybe this guy as a skirmisher. Uh, maybe not. We're just going to use him striker. He has so much base damage down that he might one shot the scroll right away. Let's see. Here we go. Here we go if this Wombo combo is going to allow us to, to beat the scroll or not. This is a 7 red scroll, level 100. Okay, uh, red all goes first. Great. Smash. Okay. Stun. And there we go. Overkill. Definitely overkill for this team. How does the this Zog's event work? So you have to spend power cores on the campaign that you have going on. You have to have you have to use Undying in Alliance Wars, and uh, depending on the yellow stars that you have for your Zugs, you're gonna get more points. I still have that seed, that seed. 
Okay, so here I have to use Masters of Evil. I suppose. I'm going to use Masters of Evil with uh, Iron Patriot. Finally getting some use of that Iron Patriot. I hope. Instead of Ultron. Uh, let's do like this, I guess. I guess not. Okay. Let's go like this. So, Masters of Evil with Iron Patriot versus Unlimited with Black Knight. That's a very big Black Knight, but not big enough. We'll see. Does Cabal suck? No, Cabal is good. Cabal is good. It just depends on how you use them. Okay, so Titania. I think I have to use the special. I'm not sure. Okay, that was some big damage, but uh, yikes. That was some big damage as well. So we already have offense up. So in theory, we can destroy this Black Knight. Wow, Black Knight obliterated. Really, really obliterated. So let's stun rewind these Morphos over here. Okay. Maybe I should have stopped the, the Rogue. So we're going to use what? We're going to use the special. No, we're going to use the ultimate because you want to give more buffs to Titania so she goes first. Wow, bro! Absorbing Man actually killed someone. Wow. Damn, son. Where did you find these Morphos? What's up with that damage? Okay, here goes Iron Patriot offense up. Let's destroy. Seek and destroy. Great, Kang now with uh, his ultimate. It's the Kang Bang. Yes, it's the Kang Bang. Bro. 4 million damage? Are you kidding me? 4 million damage. Just like that. Bro, 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 bro. What is this? I do not know. Wow, okay. I'll take it. What's the best way to use Cabal? Use Cabal like that. You split them up. Yeah, I'm splitting up Cabal. It's the only thing that makes sense. With Cabal, you have three characters. You can use them in one team, or you can use each of them on three different teams to improve those teams. For me, it makes sense to use Cabal separated. Using Cabal together, in my opinion, doesn't make a lot of sense. Okay, so here we're going to use uh, this guy, Quicksilver, I guess. I don't know. Cersei. What was the, the Wombo combo we had before? It was like Shang-Chi and Nick Fury, right? Nick Fury or something? Oh, I have Nick Fury on defense. Oh my god. Nick Fury on defense. That's not good. On my defense... Uh... Now guy tried the pure dead seed and fell two times. And then used the old dead seed apocalypse like previous season and got it. Yeah, it depends. It depends on the um, I think Falcon is gonna die right away. I think Falcon dies right away because of the um, of the big time. Rhino. Uh, I have Rhino, yeah. I have a big Rhino. I mean, big enough. It's not super big, but big enough. But I'm wondering if I should use any other character here. Shang-Chi. Is Shang-Chi really doing anything for this team? Cannot use Mr. Negative. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't have uh, Nick Fury. Unfortunately, I don't have him. Maybe X-23 instead of, of Shang-Chi. Falcon would be nice, but I don't think he survives.
what I need to use is cable. Cable is the character I need to use, but my cable is not big enough. Dazzler. I guess I could use Black Widow. I guess I could use Black Widow. Black Widow should allow the Eternals to go faster than uh, Archangel. I'm not 100% sure. Sixty percent chance. Yes, that's true. I mean, we only need uh, or uh, you you prefer Echo. Echo would be the, would be fine. Or should I use my my own big time for the infestation combo? Short yellow buzz. Welcome back. I don't have full dead seed. I don't have full dead seed. I don't have full dead seed. Okay, we're gonna go like this. Should be fine. Let's make this guy fortify just to make sure he survives. Fortify level 5. And uh, yeah, so usually use Nick Fury. The the best option here would be to use Red Guardian, but you don't want to use characters with pre taunt. Otherwise, they might get destroyed. Okay, we're gonna see what happens. It's for science. I don't know. So here we go. Eternals versus Dead Seed. They have a big scary big time. We also have a big scary big time. Let's see what happens. It's for science. It's day one. It doesn't matter if we win or lose. We just have to figure out these new counters for this new season. We usually use Nick Fury, but I forgot I have Nick Fury on, on defense. Okay, so Magneto puts everyone together. Rhino clears. And now I should... I should do what? Apply Town to the primary target, yes? Okay, let's do that. Now we have this guy. Let's make sure that uh, Archangel does not get speed up. Oh wow, I didn't even thought about this. So because Black Widow is assisting, if I had this guy as a striker, maybe they could kill him. Yeah, not a lot of damage as a skirmisher, yikes. Yeah, but at least he didn't got uh... Oh, he got the blind, lol. Okay, I guess it's game over. So Archangel is blinded. We got speed up on uh, Ikaris. Here we go with a big rewind. That's it. I, I forgot. We apply blinds on this room. So they are all blinded. Now Zombie Jugger Nugget with uh, the ultimate as well or the special or whatever. Let's do special to attack multiples. Wow, very difficult. But my Ikaris, damn, it does no damage. Yikes. Ikaris needs to go to level 100 and 3 diamonds as well. Okay, there we go. So we were able to full clear. Not the best, not the worst. Once again, first day, we knew exactly what to, to use. 48,569. I'm going to assume that my opponent did not attack yet because he's from France. Room 151, room 269 after a failed attempt of using I've Mind. Room 3 with Masters of Evil. Room 4 with uh, Apocalypse Sack. And then uh, easy clear up with the uh, other team. Eternals on room 5 and uh, then on room 6. We tried new warriors, they got destroyed. It was level 97 versus level 100. And yeah, that three level difference makes a huge, huge difference. So there you go. We'll see. We'll see if uh, the result is going to be positive or not tomorrow.
Rhino saving the day. For all the people that are racist against rhinos, you saw that rhino was very good. Good enough, good enough. Peter B. Parker to clean the house. Yeah, Peter B. Parker. He, I mean, he is somewhat interesting. We'll see. You did your attacks already. Hey, but it, it's 1 a.m. at your place, right? I think France has the same time zone as Hungary, even that they are uh, quite far apart. Uh, but yeah, it, it's already 1 a.m. It's terrible to stream now. I really don't like the summer season because it's it's so annoying to to stream at this time. Okay, so there we go. So John was able to beat easily by Fr by Frost. Yes, with that seed, one million punch up. Let's show. So there you go. This is from John. One million punch up. Or 900k, okay, let's be fair. 900k, one shop versus a gigantic uh, Val. Like I said, it's all about the deflects. If the deflects land, you are good to go. Yeah, okay, but he also has gear tier 17 Magneto. Magneto also doesn't have any diamonds. In my opinion, in my opinion, should you use should you use let's think about it should you use Kestrel and pegasus on a room that actually matters or should you use to counter to counter bifrost like it's one million punch up what else do you want eyes on the leader i like him as a striker we'll have a video about uh, the the cabal soon tomorrow or something I put Bifrost with Bishop on defense to counter that seed. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. A pre taunting tank with Bifrost, it absolutely destroys the that seed combo. Yeah, you need the T4 on Magneto special to work. Yes, yeah. Yeah, but it's a 1 million punch job, guys. Like, should you use Kestrel on defense or Kestrel anywhere you want? I, I think, I don't know. I. Castle, in my opinion, is one of those characters that you should have available anywhere. Okay, let's see if the guy attacked. No, he didn't attack yet. And he's probably not going to attack today. But yeah, he's uh, not this guy, the other guy. His defense was definitely tricky. His defense was definitely tricky. We'll have the results tomorrow. The problem by using that seed is that, uh, again, you leave the CC round winner. I mean, it's RNG dependent with, uh, with any team. Yeah, I like, uh, I like the leader as a striker, yes. So you want to use the leader with Cavall or with, uh, or with Gamma or with Skrull. The leader basic is very powerful. So, my and and he's he's a, a slow character. So I would only use leader as a striker, nothing else. And the level four is enough. You don't need level five on the leader unless you are trying to get a little bit more HP. But I don't think it's worth it. Either way, guys, if you are using by Frost Mirror Match or Pegasus or I've Mind or whatever, it's always RNG based because they have deflects. In my opinion, that seed is better because Magneto removes the deflects, applies Disrupt, and then applies the ability block. And uh, it's a team that you have to invest whether you like it or not. So, unless, and this is Gear Tier 17. Some people were saying, oh, but I only have 17. I think it was of Nazare. Of Nazareth said that he only has 17. 17 works fine too. I have mine scroll on room 4. Yeah, I mean, if uh, if they get a turn, it's instant win, that's for sure. 
So if I had faced a dive mine scroll instead of a scroll by frost, I, I had no chance. The Doom would die right away. If he would not die, the if he would not die, then the 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 symbiotes they would get multiple turns. So yeah, you need to use full cabal for that. That's the only way to counter that. It's full cabal. If you don't have full cabal, no chance. Okay, I think it was a good first round. Not the best, not the worst. It was okay. Now, as we were speaking about this zombie juggernaut event, it all depends on how many all stars and rest stars you have. The more, the merrier. And you can see the rewards, right? 5 million gold, all these tombstones that give you points towards the event. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do my best to get uh, this event maxed out, but who knows? Who knows? Is it worth it? So, 5 million gold, 2000 dark promos. So, the bare minimum, this is gonna be like $20 worth. But might be a little bit more than that. Cabal King Titania. In room 5, what to do on defense? You, you can pretty much use any team there. The, the Cabal, they are not very fast. So that's the funny thing. Cabal can be easily countered by Eternals. Cabal can be easily countered by Eternals. You just need a, a team that is fast enough to don't allow the Cabal to take a turn. So in this case, if I was in your case, I would use like a pre-taunting tank. Maybe zombie... So you could use Undying with the Eternals. Undying with Eternals. You put the zombie juggernaut in the middle. Hell, Iron Man. And then you put, you put Cersei and Icarus in the two corners. They will kill Gregs. The Eternals, they have speed up, so they are not affected by the, the things that uh, the Patriot does. And then you just turn you wind them to Oblivion. And that's it. I would never use Cabal on defense. Separated makes sense. But together, I think they are easily countered. Full Extreme in Room 2. I, I think I heard some people saying that uh, Full Extreme, Pegasus can beat Full Extreme. Pegasus can beat Full Extreme. Okay, let's smash this event. Power Cores, it's time to burn them. We have the Power Core event going on. And we also have to do Cosmic Crucible. Oh, I didn't even thought about that. We did multiple attacks. Not great, but it will allow us to finish the event early. Pegasus on defense. Yikes. Yikes. With Pegasus on defense, might be a little bit more complicated. Um, I don't know, man. Like, maybe try I've mind. I'm not sure about it. How big is the um, extreme? Is it, like, is it a extreme extreme? A super extreme? Or a ultra extreme? If it's like uh, 2.5 million, maybe with the uh, I've mind, I think the... Um, Dive mine guy goes before the the noir, uh, the sorry the night crawler. Okay, let's see the event. So we already got one thousand points for the event out of three thousand, and you get points toward this event by spinning power cores and also battling in cosmic crucible. So that's great. Let's collect. Co yeah, that's true. Cabal. Counters all these teams with speed bar on spawn. Or not. They don't do they counter Solonar? I'm not sure about that. Did they fix the, the passive of the Iron Iron Patriot? I 
I'm not sure about it. So the night crawler gets 25% speed better. Plus the speed up. So against the Bifrost, Cabal versus Bifrost stop at the Really? That that's interesting. Because you know, right, against secret defenders it doesn't work. Yeah, yeah, quick draw, yeah. Cabal also stops the safeguard. Yeah, so I'm not sure about it. Either of the situations are not optimal. Yeah, yeah, at least that's a good point, yes. So at least they don't get the, the safeguard. Okay, let's collect this junk. Let's collect our free claims and see how we are doing on this event. I thought this event was going to be very complicated. But now this event lo looks very, very easy. Okay, so we have 1000 fragments. This is going to be over six days. Six days. So let me get my calculator. So 24,000 points over six days. 144,000 points. And then we have uh, plus 430, 574. 574 out of 750, yikes. Seven hundred fifty it's a lot. That's quite a lot. Yeah, yeah, I can I can post right now on the on the general chat if you want to uh, come case. I can post it now on the general chat. Let me get that for you. Okay, it's, it's on the general chat. Okay, so... I'm doing the, the math for the, the war event because the war event is very, very good. Very, very good. So we're going to be how many points away? 176. 176. Let's see the offers. Uh, I assume that the um, donations do not give you points. No, of course not. Work at awesome, awesome. Shout out for so honor to to sharing that counter. Cabal, Void Knight, and uh, Red Guardian, I guess. Versus the Bifrost. Okay, so this alliance event. Ten dollars for two, oof, four thousand points. Damn, this is gonna be. A, I thought this was going to be easy event to complete. I guess not. Ten thousand. Ten thousand points. So one hundred thousand. 10 people, so 10 people have to buy these. 20,000. 10 people have to buy these. And then... Uh, oof, it's very expensive. Freak. Big, big freak. Cabal versus by Frost overkill. I mean, if you don't have anything else, you could also use the uh, Eye of Mind, but it depends how big they are. So, bare minimum 10 people getting this. Oof, it's going to be expensive. But damn, the value that you get. So, 570. Eye of Mind punch up on extreme. But without Rogue, right? 
The question is, is it against Rogue or not against Rogue? Wow, uh, yeah. Big shout out to Corner Chairman and Falker for buying those early offers already. Starting off with uh, 40,000 points. So that helps quite a lot. So that's minus 80,000 points. So we need 10 people to buy the $10 offer. And that's going to give us three more milestones. So that's going to be milestone 18, 19, and milestone 20. The question is, is this gear worth that? $20 for 5 million gold, Iron Patriot Shards, Dark Diamonds, and 9, 9 Osmium. You think these three last milestones are worth $20? $20 for these three milestones. There is also bio gear, so a little bit, not a lot. $20 for these three milestones. I think it's worth it, I guess. Okay, we'll see. We'll see. Looks interesting for sure. Now, this event we already had. Uh, wow, we already got the month event. Great. Uh, let's collect. This event is another one that might be easy to complete. Lots of dark promos, lots of things. Then we also have the leaderboard. Wow, I was at 200. I'm already at 600. Yikes. But okay, not a problem. John Wick from Mouse Parks, aka. Uh, what's the name? I can't remember the name. How can I beat the Dorm Leader Scroll Val Better Reveal in Room 3? I don't know. That's the team I have on defense. Good luck against that team. Maybe Cabal with, uh, with something else. Okay, we'll see. And we are done with this as well. So, yeah. First day of Cosmic Crucible. Way too many questions. I think it's going to be interesting season. Not as interesting as the other season, because the other season, with each character that they would add to the game, it uh, would uh, spice up the, the season. But this time, uh, Panda Pool is coming. Deadpool rework might show up during this season. But I'm not sure if Panda Pool and Deadpool rework with the change the meta like a lot. Dead Seed with Taskmaster in room 5. You can, yes, full Dead Seed, yes. Full Dead Seed goes faster than Dead Seed and Taskmaster. Every event is easier. <laughs> yes. Well, our alliance is not full of whales. We have a lot of free-to-play players. That's not true. So, from the new team, we have people that spend money, but we don't have whales. We don't have whales. From the new team, only nine, I think nine people are buying the new team. So, definitely not whale territory. I can show you. These are the people that are going to buy the new team. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine people are going to buy the new team. Nine people are going to buy the new team. Some people, the ones in yellow, will gear up the new team as soon as it becomes free to play available. But uh, yeah, our alliance is not 100% alliance. Well, harder, yeah, we need to well harder. This is why recently we have not been on the top 100 in raids. We are like 97 or 90 or something. 91. 
We are not really trying to, to get top 100 until the, the next team shows up. You, you'll gear them up as... Okay, okay. I'm saving for upcoming events. I'm already level 100, so I'm just going to save for upcoming events. Okay, Cosmic Crucible done. Let's get these rewards. As well... Are you guys excited for the, the Deadpool team or not really? Undying Dormammu and Scroll. Probably something with the uh, Apocalypse, Archangel. So whenever the Gregs die, they, they get rewinded as well. Archangel, guys. Don't forget Archangel rewinds the enemies whenever you kill Gregs. And it does that... Uh, it also gives more armor and, and healing to Apocalypse. Wasn't there a isolated event? No, 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 no. No, what they're going to get is next week. Next week will be isolated event energy for Peter B. Parker. So this guy, the first guy of the, the new skill team, you have to spend normal campaign energy, you have to spend isolate campaign energy, you have to blitz, and uh, I think you also have to play in raids. Like, this guy is going to be very difficult to unlock. I made a video about it. I would definitely recommend uh, checking it out uh, because it has information about this upcoming event. Very difficult to unlock. Very, very difficult. And this is probably already confirmed data mine. Very, very difficult. I, I, I think they're gonna make a mistake. I'm not sure why, but I think I think that scope is gonna make a mistake because if it's gonna happen the same thing that happened with Iron Patriot, the the Reddit people will riot. Kindness could disrupt Rogue. Oh yeah, that's true. On the on the raid room, right? Yeah. So the problem, Moro, the problem is that if Nightcrawler goes first and Nightcrawler crits, he gives speed bar for. A f oh no, it's it's only for extreme. Okay, so never mind. It's only for extreme. So yeah, yeah, that's true. So Carnage can disrupt Rogue. And uh, and yeah, it would be better off. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe we, I put extreme. Uh, on defense room 2, we'll see how it goes. It all depends on what you have. If you have Hive Mind on defense, you cannot use them. So, that's going to be very important for this season. Is And, and we'll see a, a lot of variety. Is that the people that have Pegasus, they will not have Bifrost. So, you can use uh, your own Bifrost. But if they have Extreme, then you can use Hive Mind. But then you don't have Hive Mind to use against the Black Knights. I think there is a lot of variety this season because of that. Not for Room 6. Room 6 seems to be the best secret uh, defender's room. But all the other rooms could have uh, a nice variety. Is Zemo useful on CC at all? Yes, yes. Zemo on Room 1 ability blocks everyone. So I, I think yes. Can I have mine beat extreme? Yes, yes. This is what Oro was just saying. Is that uh, I have mine can beat extreme. And if they have rogue, you should use the rogue. Uh, you should use the carnage ultimate. Yes, the ultimate on rogue so she has disrupt. And she cannot taunt. I think extreme is good against. Uh, if people are going to use Bifrost with Rogue, if people are going to use Bifrost, Extreme with Rogue will be fine. But then the other ones, uh, it depends. It really depends. Okay, I think that's it for today. We already checked out the event. Uh, the event is looking... Both of the events look very good. I'll make a video about it just with the final numbers. But overall, the event looks very, very good. I would definitely recommend spending power cores for Zombie Juggernaut. Very good character. 
Then you also have all these extra rewards that you can get from the bonus section. Depending on the more yellow stars you get, the better. And we also have some orbs. Maybe you, let's see if you, we can open some orbs. How many orbs we have? One orb, and we should have another orb from the free climber. Let's see. We're gonna do. We're gonna open these three orbs, and then we'll save all the orbs for uh, the last day of the event. So let's see. Yeah, we get one full orb from the free climbs. How much was that? 1.5? I need to see that. Not this one. 1.5. And you get another 1.5 uh, if you buy the, the thing. Okay, let's see. Was out of time in room 6. I don't think out of time is very good on room 6. I think... Secret Defenders are superior to them. But we'll see for sure uh, later on. Okay, let me just collect these free claims. Then I'm gonna open the, the Zombie Juggernaut Orbs. The biggest pool is 30, if I remember correctly. I was able to get 30 last time. 30 last time was very powerful. But uh, it's RNG, right? Okay, here we go. Three orbs, right? Oof, almost four. Can we can we get a four? Can I do C theory? I don't have enough orbs to do C theory. Okay, one, two. As long as you don't get those greens on the side. Oof. Uh, yeah, green on the side. Yeah, that's not a good sign. So this should be a very bad seed. We're going to open anyway. We're going to save the other ones. We're going to open these anyway. So here we go. Zombie Juggernaut. 3 to 1. Blue in the middle. Okay. Okay. Six shards. Wow. A gold orb. Oh, I mean, it's not trash. That's not trash. Okay. Six shards. First orb. Second orb. Here we go. 3 to 1. It's a green. Okay. As long as it's Zombie Juggernaut, it's fine. 1.6 gold orbs. Wow, that's crazy. Here we go, last orb. 3, 2, 1. Show me the money. Show me, show me the zugs. 5 shards. Okay, not trash. Not trash. I'll take it. Anything that lets me to get this zombie to... to 7 stars. So after we can get those extra rewards from the last milestone or something. Yeah, okay. Looking good. Looking good. Okay, guys, so I wish you guys a good night. Good luck with uh, your Cosmic Crucible matches. I mentioned in the past that maybe I'll make the, the, the spreadsheets available somehow. I'm going to see if I can do that uh, in the next few days. I'm going to see if I can do that in the next few days, but I'll let you know soon. Yeah, I mean, it was the investment that we put in the past and now it's paying off. Being able to get those, being able to get all those rewards again, it's already paying off. Okay, guys, that's it for today. Wish you guys good night. Good luck with your Cosmic Crucible. And we'll see each other tomorrow. Unless Erna Milky gives birth. But it should be on Wednesday or Thursday. We'll see. Anyway, guys, good luck with everything. And... Uh, Catch you guys later. Take care.